get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. It's the Prince. We must go quickly. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it! It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then BAM! A code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it! This has gotta be bad, M.M. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure- You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access. Our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A Code Red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the Prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run. We leave everything behind, and we go into hiding. A 
as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince has to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. You know, back in the day, Nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Emem. My dear Emem. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please. You're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. It's gonna be a long night. Miss Lewis, welcome. Can I help you? Can I help you with something? like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about want? that bearded guy who's swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? Under ordinary circumstances, there would be more of us here. Is it because of the Code Red? Could be. We should have all been at that party. But a Code Red is a Code Red. No one can leave. I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time. And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the Prince's power. The check and balance. 
They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the princess house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda, she needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this Code Red is all about? You're in the Primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. They've Castle all got Drawing such long is not faces. Here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Leto's teams are hey, trying Abby. to reach them. But... Hey, Abby. Hey, Mm. Nobody's answering? No. Abby, do you know what's going on? I'm sorry, but I can't. Please? I feel like I've been plopped down in the middle of a minefield. There are rumors about Journey. Rumors about how this is all her fault. Did you know that Jay was in charge of the party? Shit. I bet she's gonna take the fall for whatever happened. I don't think she's involved, but we've got to be on our guard. Did you want something? You're wasting time. Sorry, that's not possible. We haven't seen you here in ages now, have we? It's not like I'm doing everything I can to stay the hell away from here. 
blunt and to the point as usual. With a bit of luck, your suffering will be over soon. How's business these days? Why? You want to invest? Don't tempt me. Hmm. I'm shocked to think you put so much as a penny into one of my clubs. They don't bring in enough of your taste, Beryl. You're right. I'm not interested in them. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. I'm waiting for Caleb. Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Alicia, it's been a while. Hey, M.M. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That, or she's a major drama queen. You shouldn't make light of the situation, believe me. There aren't many of us who have experienced a Code Red, and survived. Thanks for the heads up, Professor Bazori. First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. Or, maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, 
then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. See, I could jump down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Hazel. Delson. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. 
It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... uh... what? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? I don't know. I need to think about it. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it, but we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. No news from anyone. Do you think that? Now's not the time to be thinking about that. We're not the only ones freaking out. Look around. Exactly. We've Follow got to keep me. Our wits about yes, ma'am. Got it? Yeah. something?
All right, Jay, where are you hiding? Can I help you? Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. <laughs> Seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got some extra responsibilities, sure, but that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. I've got stuff to do. See you later. Shitty night. Do you think the Code Red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I heard the Prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I'm supposed to find Jay. Do you know if she's done talking to April? Huh, good question. Uh, I saw her earlier, but she wasn't with Miss Bosley. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... you might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. I know that perfume. Jay. to Where did you go, Jay? Mind your own business, Sil. Now's not the time to make waves. I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani... She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys... How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that.
You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high-quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. Underwood and Fang. Vizori's ears must be burning. Hey, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Galeb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. doing in the archives. about a party from a few years ago. Page three was torn out. There are traces of blue ink on page two. Page three was torn out. There are traces of blue ink on page two. I swear, she was standing there, playing me for a sucker, pretending she just happened to be in the archives. And what did you say to her? I played dumb. I said, as you like, Miss Abigail Naomi. And I left. What did she take? A page from a file about an old party that she told out. But why would she need that? Why now? I wonder.
I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay. It Kala saw. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. again. What do you want? If Zeus had chosen flower to reign over all others, the rose would be queen. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. You can tell me my lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah. Sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. What a nightmare. elevator to get here. She asked her to find the file I found in the archives. A page was torn out of it. I need to find that page. I hope you didn't forget anything, Jay.
Everything's gonna be fine. Calm down. This is the connection between the email and the file from the archives. Journey asked Abigail to meet her in an alcove at the bar. Abigail, we've got to talk. Can I help you? I told you I was looking for Jay earlier. And? And? I found the note she left you. I wonder what April would say if I showed it to her. You went through my stuff? Is that all you're worried about? Uh, no. It wasn't personal. Journey was in a panic. She asked me for the pass to get into Jara's apartment. Did she say why? Only that she was looking for evidence. I didn't really get it. Let's keep this between us, all right? April's got other fish to fry. I'll see about that. I'm going to find her. Jara's apartment. That's on the primogen floor. What was Jay looking for up there? Can't go through there. It's locked. Oh, great. My shadow. Hmm. I wish I was outside instead of being cooped up in here. So, what exactly did Hazel want with you? She asked me to go and fetch Journey. Ah. So, you think this is gonna get ugly too? How is Hazel? She asked a lot of questions. She was a little paranoid. She's losing her grip. Be careful. Why are you telling me this? This is the first time you've ever been involved in a court intrigue. Up until this instant, I've handled things for you. And that was fine by me. If the prince is under pressure, choose your words carefully. I hate the court. Oh, I've got to go. I've got stuff to do. Be careful.
No fucking way. Shit. So this what? is where you've been. Oh, hiding. Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. The code red is definitely because of the party. April told me Hazel was gunning for me. She thinks I'm responsible for this shit show. So, you're hiding in Jory's room? I'm looking for evidence. I saw that Jara had the file on the party. It's got all the contracts and stuff in it that will prove I did my job right. But I can't find them. It was my only shot to defend myself against her. Hey, slow down. It's gonna be all right. They don't have anything on you, do they? No, of course not. I did everything right, ma'am. I was the one who rented the place. Same as always. Rooftop, away from prying eyes. I met with Richard to organize the vessels. I arranged for limos to be sent for the Hartford Chantry. I went through the same secure limo agency as usual. They're ours, so there's no risk. What the hell could have gone wrong? I don't know. But there's no time to think about it. Hazel wants to see you. I... And she asked you? Listen, honestly, you'd better get out of here. Um, what? What are you talking about? I can't just run away. Do you know something I don't? I talked to Abigail. She heard some nasty rumors about you. They're accusing me based on nothing at all. But I know the prince. She doesn't believe rumors. Let's say Hazel doesn't want to hurt you. Others could change her mind. Who would? Honestly, who would stand to gain something from my death? I don't trust April. What makes you think she'd want to hurt me? She's my boss. Precisely. Because she's your boss. You're the reason the prince is now unhappy with her. Do you think she's gonna back you up when she's alone with Hazel? I... No, you're right. What a bitch. If I run, people will think I'm guilty and that I want to leave the Camarilla. But... You can't leave the Camarilla. Yes, we can. I know people who can help you. Anarchs. Don't underestimate them. They've held out against the camp for a long time now. Do you realize what it would mean to really run away? I just know what's gonna happen to you if you stay here. But if I leave, they'll call for a blood hunt. You have to believe me about the Anarchs. I know their leader, Saul. I've seen her help people in situations like yours. It's your only chance. I could stay. And be destroyed? Listen to me! Saul can help you. You can do this! I... How do I go about this? Where do I go? I'll go back to see the prince. That'll buy you some time. Don't waste a second. Don't go back to your office. You have to disappear right now. But what about you? What are you going to say? You're risking everything for me. Don't worry. Hazel has nothing on me. You're going to the Anarchs. I'm going to contact Saul. She'll come and get you at the club in Roxbury. Is it just me, or is this not the first time you've done this? I don't think we've got time for that. You're right. We're doing this.
Laisha. It's good to see you. Be good, sweetie. How was your reunion with Halsey? Thank you, Hazel. Your gift was wonderful. You shouldn't have troubles. You're welcome. We should never have kept you apart for this long. Good evening, Delson. Good evening, Laisha. How are you feeling? I feel great. Better and better since I got my little sugar fangs back. Wonderful. I haven't seen Richard yet. Does he know I've been released from the Institute? No. I'm the Prince. It was my decision. He is your psychiatrist. But you don't need his permission for everything. He wasn't at the party, was he? I'm searching for everyone who's still missing. Don't worry about him. Thank you. Laisha. I know I can be frank with you. For four years, I have been working to heal the city's wounds. You've already helped me avoid traps in the past. That was a long time ago, you know? I can barely- You've helped me to foil conspiracies, make the right decisions for the Domain. You're not like the other children of Malkav. Quentin King knew that. The Mad King. I remember, yeah. I had you released from the Institute because your premonitions are the most detailed, the most accurate. I wanted them to help me understand the Chantry's hand more clearly before we signed our agreement with them. But this alert changes everything. I need to understand what's just happened. Did you sense anything, possibly about what happened tonight? I saw images, but they had nothing to do with this party. It didn't make any sense. It was a long, white hallway. It's a little early for sure, but it's a good start. I'm sorry. I can't be of more help. Don't be sorry. There's something else you can do for me. Your discretion can still be of use to me. I need to be sure that none of the members of my council are going to take advantage of the situation. You don't trust them? You can never be too careful. You and Delson are the only two people I trust entirely. The members of the council have their council lodgings here. It gives them the impression that they have power, and it means I can keep an eye on them. I'm going to give you the key. Go and see if you find anything that could make me doubt their loyalty. Anything that might make me think there's something in the works. Uh, all right. Miss Drury burned the midnight oil to make sure this event was secret. I imagine there might be some evidence in the information she gathered. I need it. All right, consider it done. You've never disappointed me, Laisha. Please don't start today. Until then, I hope to have found more information. But above all, don't share what we've discussed with anyone. I don't need more gossip. Can I take Halsey with me? Of course. All right then. I'll be right back.
So this is where you've been hiding. What? Oh, Jesus, it's you. You scared the shit out of me. How did you find me? You're really bad at covering your tracks. Are you alone? What the hell is going on? Shit, ma'am. It's a fucking nightmare. Mom, I'm going to Richard's to see if he has my teddy. Okay. Come and find me when you're done. I hope Journey hasn't come looking for the same thing as me. This is what Hazel asked me to bring her. with a list of everything that was checked for the party. Invoices, reservations, rentals. All from our network. Huh, it's journeys. That's what she was looking for. Oh, this thing's old. Does she still use it? from the other side. Oh, nobody here. I'm going to be able to take a look around Dijon's. Salem Gazette. Just like New Orleans. This is definitely Dijon's place. He must have done a warlock ritual. <laughs> it's from an animal. And it's still fresh. Well, well. What have we here? He didn't finish his letter. 
but that'll be enough for Hazel to make up her mind about him. told me to keep a low profile here. This area is reserved for the prince and her primogen. Shit! Hilda's in her office. She's going to see me. I shouldn't get too close. She might be able to sense me. Why did you come back? Why? Other than to show that you're doing just fine on your own. If you only knew everything I've done for you. Ma'am. Hilda's more concerned with the man than she is with Hazel. I hope she'll be happy to hear that. Hmm. Restricted access means nothing to you, I see. Make yourself at home. Don't mind me. How am I not surprised? What doesn't surprise you? For you to turn up at a time like this. The prince had me released. Of course. She needs you. 
<laughs> I'm guessing she sent you to spy on the council. What do you mean? Tell me, do you remember the last time she pulled you out of your musty hole? It's just that I... You don't remember, do you? You're still having those little memory issues, it seems. And I suppose Halsey's here, too. Of course she is. <laughs> the more the merrier. And don't start with me, Beryl. Otherwise... Why don't you go out and play in the sun? And let me get back to work. Work? With everything that's going on? Hazel will appreciate your dedication. Get out! Please! That's all I'm going to be able to find out about him. Hazel's going to be disappointed. Halsey's waiting for me. I hope Hazel will be proud of us. The speculative news from... <laughs> Oh, he's about as fun as his reading material. Richard's apartment. He didn't change a thing, as usual. somewhere else. No, he's not there. Where are you, Mr. Teddy? Nothing. Ugh. It's true that he always saves everything on old media. So, did you find your teddy? No, not yet. I'm not sure he's here. What about you? Did you finish your job for the prince? Yes. I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Not quite, Pumpkin. I want to take another look around. You wait for me here, but be good. I will.
are you almost done? Yes, I found something that might be of interest to Hazel. Does that mean we're going back to see the prince then? Let's go, sugar face. Laisha. I'm all ears. Everything went all right. I knew I could count on you. Was Halsey a good girl? Yes, as usual. Good. Were you able to find anything interesting in Ms. Drury's apartments? Yes. There was intel she had gathered on the guests, including those from the Hartford Chantry. Hmm. Anything about their regent, Deneb Osborne? Yes, he seems to be obsessed with memory magic. Interesting. I gave everything to Delson. Thank you. I'll take a look at it later. Were you able to see or hear anything interesting? Hilda was in her room. She was acting strangely. What do you mean? She was whispering things, talking to a picture of a mem. Touching, but that's of no importance. At Dijon's, I found a letter addressed to the Salem Chantry. Did he betray me for the warlocks? I don't know. It just said that he's participating in your project. But that he would have preferred an agreement with Salem. Oh. I understand his recent illusions a little better now. I'm going to need to have a word with him. Go on. I found Journey in Jara's office. How did she get in there? I don't know. But Emem joined her. It's like there's no security here. But do go on. I want to know everything. What did you see? They talked, and Emem told her that you wanted to see her. She told her she had to bring her back. Journey decided to flee. What did Emem do? There wasn't much she could do to make her stay. She looked very worried about her too. Or maybe she didn't want to. What an idiot. It's normal for you not to understand the Clan of the Rose's affectation for imitating mortal friendship. It's pitiful, but thank you for letting me know. Was there anything else? Journey was going through Jara's desk. She was looking for a file. A record with proof of the precautions she'd taken in organizing this party. Did she find any? She didn't find it, but I did. That's perfect. More than I expected. Give it to Delson on your way out. I'll take care of it. That's all I was able to find. I knew I could count on you. Thank you, Laisha. Richard still wasn't there. Were you able to find out anything else? Yes. One of my servants just came back from his bar, the Red Salon, as that's where he does his research. I had hoped to find him there. But she confirmed that Dr. Dunham had gone to the party early with a few of his vessels. I'm sorry, Laisha. No. If he had been destroyed, I would have felt it. I have to go find him. You're the most discreet of all of us, it's true. But we have no idea what might have happened there. It could be dangerous. I won't be alone. Halsey will be with me. Of course. And one last thing. Dr. Dunham wasn't the only one there. There was also Miley, my child. Bring her back to me. Yes, of course. We'll leave right away. I wouldn't expect anything less of you. Thank you, Laisha. M.M., come here. I know what you're gonna say. Go on. I'm listening. You want to know why Journey isn't with me? I'll tell you why. Yes, please. I'm all ears. 
I was afraid for her. I convinced her to flee. I was afraid she'd be held responsible for tonight. I... I didn't want to take any risks. And you're just confessing like that? To my face? Do you realize what you've done? I'm seeing to things myself. Go in the next room and await your new orders. My prince. Delson. Zori. It seems that the Camarilla is in danger. I am at your disposal. Your sense of duty is a credit to you, Caleb. You haven't lost your touch, I hope. The Code Red is linked to the Unification Party with the Chantry. No one there is answering anymore. How many of us were there? Probably a good twenty, give or take. Dr. Dunham and our top spy, Jara Drury, were already there. Hmm, we might have lost two members of the Primogen. What about Hartford? Have you heard from them? If those dogs had anything to do with what happened, I'll cut their throats myself. Do you think they might be involved? I don't know. It's too early to draw any conclusions. Where do you want to start? Can I... can I count on you? You have no reason to doubt me. One by one, the Ancelai heed the beckoning and go east. You're the eldest in the city now. Don't do this to me. Not now. I would be very grateful to you. And Fang. How may I be of service? Go and see Caius. With Jaragon. He's in charge of security. He may have learned something. You can count on me. You have my absolute confidence, Caleb. Mr. Underwood, I'm sorry, but my instructions are clear. You little shit! I'm just following orders. You have no idea what's at stake! My most honored sire, you're wasting your time here. I'd forgotten about your abject fawning. I call it respect. It appears that it's something that sewer rats know nothing about. Apparently, Caius feels he's entitled to refuse to see a member of the Primogen. I won't forget it. This is the kind of thing you delegate to a retainer under normal circumstances. What matter is so urgent that you've come to see Caius yourself? If you don't mind, I choose not to entrust this task to anyone else. Tell me, you haven't introduced me to your charming protege yet. 
Zhu Feng. <laughs> yes, Zhu Feng, a name that's as delectable as her blood, I'm sure. Ah, you're planning to introduce her to the very select club of Galeb Bazaar's progeny, aren't you? I hope that the prince will allow me to, shortly. I hope so for your sake. Who knows? Our dear Hazel is so unpredictable. At any rate, it would be an honor for me to welcome and guide her. You will speak of nothing with her at all. Is that an order? A word of advice. Oh, pardon me. I fell out of the habit of receiving advice from you so long ago. Well, if you'll excuse me, I must end this ever so pleasant conversation. <laughs> I need to find a way to avoid losing too much money. This is a handwritten list. These names sound familiar. Mr. Bazori, can I help you? I need to see Caius. He doesn't want anyone to bother him. Prince's orders. I see. He's holed up in the server room. You'll need a pass to get in. There's one on his desk. Thank you. Caius's office. The key card must be in there. Mr. Leto isn't in his office. from the Red Salon. She always said she preferred paper to digital. Mr. Leto is in the server room. As expected, nobody's answering there either. These servers hold all of our secrets. I understand why they're so well protected. Hurry up! A list of We're ingredients and side effects. Got, Mr. Lito. I imagine she sent you. Finally, some good news on this shitty night. What's the situation? Not good. Not good at all. The prince needs more than that. I hope you've got it. You want details. Tell me what happened. Everything was going as planned until 11.10 p.m. The prince's child, Miss Sellers, contacted me. The Hartford Warlocks had just arrived. That's the last time we heard from any of them. Less than 20 minutes later, we received the code red, just as we were leaving to join them. Who sounded the alert? A man named Wu. Ever heard of him? A retainer. One of Jason Moore's bodyguards. Moore? The asset manager? What was he doing at the unification party? He was supposed to answer technical questions about the financial viability of the agreement. Moore is good at hiding our kind trafficking. He's one of them, after all. And you're the one who received the Code Red, personally. It arrived directly here. It's authentic. I verified it. Anything that could be of interest to the Prince? I'm working on it. Jara Drury is the expert, not me. 
If only she was here. Any movement with the Anarchs? As usual, they're keeping their distance. You know it's always a pain in the ass to locate them. Any word from Hartford? Do you think it's them? It would be ill-fated. I knew we should never have trusted those damn warlocks. Any sign of Jara? Nothing at all. And that's not good. According to the protocol, she should have been there early. If they got hit, she would have been first in line. There's one thing we haven't considered. The Crimson Oaks. They were behind the Quincy Market attack, weren't they? I don't have any proof. We just caught a thin blood who wanted to trap the prince, and who told us about them. Apparently they're new in town, but Miss Drury thinks he's giving us the runaround. Did you look into it? I tried, but I didn't have the resources to discover anything else. Leave no stone unturned. Hello. You. It's about damn time. Shit. What? You're... Hello? Damn it! I lost them. Who was it? Whoa. Shit. Now it's just ringing. What did he say? The party was indeed attacked. Apparently it was a real bloodbath. He and James had just enough time to get more out. They're stopping by his place to pick up some sensitive documents. And then what? Are they coming here? I don't know. We got cut off. Call him back. I'll inform Hazel. This is a critical moment for us. I have summoned you here tonight to organize our reaction to an imminent threat. What threat exactly? We've got no reason yet to Cut think- Cut her off again and I'll slit your throat. Oh, excuse me. Careful, Hazel. How dare you speak to me like that? Enough! You... I command you to be silent and listen to me. Oh, so that's how it is. That's enough, Beryl. Yes, it's come to this. You would do well to listen to your sire. We have just been attacked. This is not a time for childish displays of discontent. Galeb, the Code Red was sent by Wu. Go to Moors and find out what's going on. As you wish. And bring more back to me. He was supposed to be at the party. I don't understand why he's the only one who was able to call us. I would like to speak to him very much. Consider it done. I trust you. He might be involved in this, so gather any documents you can find there that could tie us to him. Very well. Delson, see if you can get Caius to find us a new middleman in the cane business to manage our interests. I don't want to take any chances. Then, I want you to talk to everyone. Somebody must have seen or heard something. Dajon, make sure all our defenses are in place. Yes, Hazel. M.M., you will go to the old Jefferson Library. What's there? That's where the Hartford Chantry calls home here. I gave them the building so they could have a base in Boston. I demand to take her place. Request denied. What game are you playing, Hazel? It's a suicide mission. It's all right. I got this. I'm not made of sugar. She's not ready for this kind of mission. I should go with her, at the very least. No. You will remain here, and Mem goes alone. Why don't you send Dajan instead? Enough, Hilda. Dajan has work to do elsewhere, and I don't need to explain myself. Hazel, if anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing, Hilda. You'll do nothing. It's high time you learned to trust her. Which one of us are you planning to send to the party? 
She's already left. What? Who? I sent Laisha. Are you serious? A few hours ago, she was snoozing behind locked doors in a psych ward. You're playing a dangerous game, Hazel. Without us, you would never have come into power. You've chosen the worst possible moment to turn your back on us. On the contrary, I find this moment very appropriate. I am the Prince of Boston, and you are the Primogen. I owe you nothing. Delson, escort them out. The session is adjourned. You all have your instructions. for what you've done. Nothing you'll remember. No! Don't leave. What am I doing here? I have to get out of here. But 
it'll have to do for now. they disappear to. got to find a way to go further. What was I looking for again? Anybody here? Hazel and her damn plans. Hazel. She wanted me to talk to the warlocks. Osborne is here. I have to find him. What's that doing here? You shouldn't have come here! What the hell? Ah! Warlocks attacked me. 
They're the ones who locked me up here. But why? I really gotta get out of here. Osborne's gonna have some explaining to do. Come on, Amem. You can do it, girl. What's that doing here?
dreaming about this moment for six years. I never experienced anything so powerful. Ah, oh, the taste of your blood on my tongue. Your hands. Your teeth. It was... I could never forget it. King. We already told you, Witch. He's not here. But I came here to see him. I don't have time to waste. I'm leaving. Oh, no, you're not. It's not that easy. You can't just walk away, Morgana. I've told you to stop calling me that. Okay, that's enough. I'm leaving. Grab her. What the hell are you doing? Let go! Oh, the bad fairy's got some fight in her. Get your hands off me, you psychos! Shut up, slut. We've seen you slithering around the king, Morgana. Whore! It. Come on! What are you waiting for? Make her drink! For the king! Hold it! No! It's not that! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! I remember it now. My school. 
screams, their voices in my head. It went on for three whole nights. Why put me through that again? What the hell is your problem? is gonna explode. What happened here? The base is broken, like someone ripped it off. It took a colossal amount of strength to break it. Strangely normal. Almost cozy. I should maybe read about this before I use it. Quite the program. My oh my. That's quite a crowd. Hmm. The last entry is from 2016. I wonder how many vessels have been caught since then. Let's see what that did.
it's from another time. I've never seen anything like it. Three circles, just like the platform. I should be able to do something with that. There's more. one. Get the neb. She got out. What? How on earth could no she? No time for that. Go get him. Out. I'm out. Oh, who cares about the neb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson. Are you talking about the party? It. It wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... We thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already. It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? You. You're gonna start by dialing it down enough. You can't talk to me, I right? could care less. It's not you I've come to talk to. You've gotta be kidding me. Where's your boss? Here. Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. What are you trying to tell me? I do hope for your sake that you have recovered all of your memories. Otherwise, they're gone. 
The process is more or less irreversible. You've got to be joking. I'm afraid not. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word, but that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. Honestly, if I wanted to finish the job, do you seriously think I would have come all by myself? If you thought there was nobody to find, yes. What a stroke of luck that would have been. All our secrets would have been ripe for the taking. All our work in thaumaturgy. Our archives. And I would have been able to do jack shit with it. I'm no blood witch. You wouldn't have to, but there are a few Tremere among you, if I'm not mistaken. You have to believe me, we're not responsible for the attack at the party. The Prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. The prince has sent someone there to find out what happened. It was a dangerous decision, but it was the only way to get to the bottom of this. And in the same breath, she sent me here to see if you were safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? I'm not sure I understand. You know exactly what it was about. Why are you asking me? I want to know if I can trust you. Or if you're trying to pull one over on me with your eloquence. So please continue. With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. 
You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this alliance? And right the wrongs that she's caused us. What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm, all right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now, Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking. But what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan. The result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my... Detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the Forgotten. The invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood. Like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was... permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course. 
but we have rituals to counteract its effects. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses. Uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. badge. Keep an eye on the elevator. I'm, I'm gonna go wait for forensics. Okay. Let me know when oh, they get here. Oh, excuse me. Message from the sheriff. Prince asked more for five reports. If I can't bring back their author, I must bring back the reports at least. I'll know them when I see them. That's not a good sign. Special Agent Smith. The FBI! Finally, some backup! Lieutenant's expecting you. Straight ahead. Watch out for the bloodstains. Forensics hasn't been through here yet. Got it. The victim lost a lot of blood. Lieutenant Anderson, I'm in charge of the investigation. Special Agent Smith, FBI. Really? Smith? Is that some kind of joke? No, why? Uh, let it go. Never mind. I'll give you the DL. We got a call from the caretaker around 2.15. He told us that one of his residents was brought in with an injury carried by his bodyguards. We sent a squad car that got here around 2.45. Is the caretaker still here? He's in the living room. But I don't think you'll be able to get anything useful out of him. Poor guy's in shock. Who was the first person on the scene? That would be Baker. He's somewhere around here. It shouldn't be hard to find him. Okay, then what? When they stepped inside, the guys came face to face with that. Do we know who the victim is? Yeah. He had his ID on him. It's the owner, a guy named Jason Moore. I don't know who this guy pissed off, but things didn't work out too well for him. 
Did you secure all the exits and entrances to the building? Yes, we've got men on the ground floor and in the parking garage. How do you get to the parking garage? You'll have to ask the caretaker. He's the one who took my men down there. Do we know if he had a family? Yeah, a wife and an eight-year-old daughter. The wife, Lydia Moore, 34 years old, architect, dual citizen of Costa Rica and the US, no criminal record. Yeah, we're trying to get a hold of her. The daughter, June, we've looked and she's not here either. What have you got on Moore? He was an asset manager. But if you ask me, he was involved in some shady stuff that we're sure to find out about. It's not every day that an accountant gets his head chopped off. Where are the bodyguards? We haven't found anyone yet. Go on. We're still looking for the head. We're waiting on forensics for everything else, but they're busy with another case. What case? You haven't heard? At one international place. They say it was a real bloodbath. So, you're here to take over the case? No, no. I'm working on something else. Moore's name popped up in one of our investigations, but I can't talk about it. Okay, I'll let my team know. Agent Smith from the FBI is here. We're still in charge of the investigation, so please cooperate with him. He was decapitated. It was a pretty clean cut. Bullet wound in the right hip. A signet ring with a beaver on it. More went to MIT. This sort of formal decor might impress Boston High Society, but not me. Sorry, I'm busy. somewhere. Moore's driver's license. One of the weapons is missing. They wanted to bring a little vacation back home. It seems like gardening is a real passion for Lydia. Not sure Jason shares your enthusiasm.
God, did I warn you. We destroy all that we touch. The apartment has changed since my last visit. Hmm. Mr. Adams? No. This can't be happening. What a nightmare. So much blood. I've got a few questions. I tried to help him. I told him we should call 911. I told him. Sir, listen to me. It's all right. Calm down. You're safe and you did the right thing. I did the right thing. I need you to answer a few questions for me. I, I... Yes, of course. What do you want to know? Did you know Mr. Moore well? We weren't friends, if that's what you're asking. But we got to know each other. With time. <laughs> he was a creature of habit. Since he worked late, he would often ask me for things at night. A uh, newspaper, batteries, ice. I, I think he asked me for just about everything. I prided myself on always being able to get what he needed, no matter what time it was. You'd have thought he pretty much lived after dark. Like his clients. Did Mr. Moore have many visitors? For a man with his status, it was nothing surprising. But... Well... Yes? His visitors mostly came in the middle of the night. I must admit that's a little unusual. That's what working for us is like. He told me he had a lot of foreign clients, and he had to juggle different time zones. That's what working from home is like. He had colleagues over for late night meetings, too. <laughs> but since little June was born, not as many people came around. That was wise. Did he have any enemies that you were aware of? No. He was a very respectable man. No bad company or anything. Except for us. Without any disrespect to the deceased, were you aware of any extramarital affairs he may have had? Mr. Moore was a good man. He would never have disrespected his wife, or even contemplated it, I'm sure. She could have been okay with it. There were no young women coming and going. That's a very inappropriate question. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Do you know his wife? Mrs. Moore is a model resident. She always has something nice to say to the staff. And is the first to welcome new neighbors, too. A true lady. Do you know where she is? Mr. Moore told me she'd gone to their home in Costa Rica. She goes there pretty often. <laughs> She's an architect, and she likes to work in her home country. She has family there. Do you think anyone could have been so angry with her that they could have taken it out on her husband? Oh, no. I don't think so. It's true that lots of people could have been jealous of her. But not to that point. Do you think she could have been having an affair? She's a very respectable woman who loves her husband very much. I don't know what sick kind of world you live in. And you would certainly not like to find out. 
They had their ups and downs, just like any couple. The staff had noticed that she went to Costa Rica fairly often without her husband. Was she thinking of leaving him? Not at all. Just the opposite. She begged him to spend more time with her and their daughter. I imagine the girl left with her mother. Not at all. It was the start of the school year, and Mrs. Moore left two weeks ago. I haven't seen her since Monday, when Mr. Moore took her to school on the first day. She must be staying with a friend. I... Poor little thing. Thank heaven she wasn't here. Do you know his bodyguards? Yeah, there's uh, Jack, James, and Wu. But you won't hear me singing their praises. Why not? Oh, they're good at strutting around and acting tough when everything is going well. But where were they tonight? Can you tell me that? That was their job, right? They were paid to... to protect him. Do you have any idea where they might have gone? No, but believe you me, if I ever see them again, I'm gonna give them a piece of my mind. Tell me about the evening again, please. What happened tonight? <sighs> Mr. Moore left with his, his three bodyguards uh, earlier in the evening. One of them got in the car and Mr. Moore came down around midnight. And then? They came back around 2 a.m. Uh, Mr. Moore was limping. He, he was leaning on one of his bodyguards and he, he was bleeding. Was he injured? I told him I could call an ambulance or a doctor, but he didn't answer. I went closer to insist, but Wu told me they were in control of the situation, that it was no big deal. They went upstairs and I saw drops of blood in front of the elevator. I told myself they were being unreasonable. What did those two goons know about it? So I called Mr. Moore on the internal line several times. Did he pick up? Not once. So I went upstairs and rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. So I went back down to the front desk and I called you. The lieutenant told me there was an access to the basement. Yes, using the service elevator th through the kitchen. You need a magnetic pass to use it. I gave the spare to your colleagues who wanted to go down there. I still have the original. Do you want it? Please. Thank you for your statement. You have to find out who did this, officer. Justice needs to be done for him. <laughs> and for his family. And we need to find out who's messing with us. That's what we're here for. You can count on us. Stick around in case we have more questions. Huh, he managed to calm him down. I thought that would be impossible. Yes, and he was able to answer a few questions. Somebody slept here. What a mess. Nobody's done the cleaning in ages. Jason, Lydia, and June, a little family all together, and in large format. Jason, proud of his family and his success. <laughs> June, who looks more like Jason than Lydia. 
Lydia, radiant and beaming. Come on, it'll pass. Don't worry. Fine vintages imported from Europe. More knew how to treat his guests. stains on the garbage chute. Are you all right? Yeah, just a little faint. I was expecting it, but then... Uh, give me a minute and I'll, I'll head back. The sight of blood. We've all been there, haven't we? No. I knew him. He took better care of himself. What's going on with him? There are bloody prints on these bags. Who'd leave that lying around? Finish in, I'm on my way. Why is the FBI interested in more? His name came up in several financial investigations we're working on. Of course. Looks like Lydia's planner. Lydia's life seems to revolve around June and her home in Costa Rica, with Jason often absent. Moore's ambition could have made him one of our own. Instead, we made him our slave. Mm -hmm. Ugh, what a mess. A fortress security catalog. They install highly secure rooms.
fortress security. Have you found anything? I'm going through the financial records. Moore managed the accounts for a lot of big names in Boston. Here, take a look for yourself. Anything worth noting? Honestly, I don't know. It's not my field. We'll have to take it to the Financial Crimes Unit to see what they make of it. Get in touch if you find something. All right. Nobody told me there would be a retainer here. This is where I met Moore for the first time. Human logic is beyond me. What's the point in doing that? Nice collection. Working for us has its advantages. Lydia and June at the beach. Hmm. A safe. Now we just have to find the code. Son of a bitch wasn't messing around. Have you seen all that cash? A souvenir from the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Portfolios of old shares. A Boston manufacturer's files. The mayor's deeds. Deeds, stock portfolios. Moore doesn't just manage the Camarillas business. Acquisition of Lot 87, Dijon Siaka. Hmm, a trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. An auction. Acquisition of Lot 87, Dijon Siaka. Hmm, a trumpet belonging to Don Ellis. Dijon, are you making plans in case things go south? Or are you planning to leave us? I understand better now. The prince asked more for a complete report on the members of the Primogen. The mayor's deeds.
It was my greatest pleasure before. Now everything tastes like ashes. Officer Baker, can I help you? Were you the first person to arrive at the scene of the crime? Yes, sir. My partner and I were the first to get here. Just tell me about it. We got the call around 2.20. The caretaker had called because a resident was injured. It took us about 20 minutes to get here. The poor guy was in a panic. He told us he'd seen one of the tenants, Jason Moore, enter the building, and he looked hurt. He was being held up by his two bodyguards, and he was bleeding a lot. Did he see the wound? Yeah, he said the victim was holding his right hip. So I went upstairs with the caretaker. We saw blood in the elevator and on the landing. I rang the doorbell, but nobody answered. So the caretaker opened the door. I identified myself. There were traces of blood leading down the hall away from the entrance. And just after that, I uh, found the decapitated body. Did your partner come with you? No, he stayed in the foyer to secure the entrance to the building. Did you touch the body? No, there was nothing I could do to help him, so I uh, secured the scene. I put my gloves on to take his ID out of his jacket pocket so we could identify him. Then I called it in. Where was the caretaker during that time? I told him not to come inside, but he followed me. When he saw the corpse, he was really shaken. He wouldn't let go of me. Then what did you do? I called for backup. They told me that forensics would get here as soon as they could. They were out at another case. That was their top priority. After that? I secured the entrance to the apartment. After that, I searched the ground floor. There was nobody around. But from the looks of things, Somebody searched the apartment. When Sergeant Lehane got here, she took care of upstairs. It's a good thing, too, because it took everyone else another 15 minutes to get here. She didn't find anyone there. So there's no sign of the family, then? Nothing. The place is empty. If you remember anything else, let me know. Of course. put some money on that. My sire always said that at a prince's court, like in a game of chess, you must know when to sacrifice your pawns. June's whole life in pictures. Jason and June, probably on a beach in Costa Rica. We're waiting on CSU for that. The diary of an eight-year-old girl, June, Jason's daughter. Interesting.
inherit your mother's artistic talent, June? Hmm, did you inherit your mother's artistic talent, June? You must be Smith. Yes. Rickman. Have you found anything? Not yet. This is the girl's room. There's no sign of her. I guess that's a good thing. I'm going to take a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Smith. shower and a tub. June's father spoils her. I've never been in this part of the apartment before. Beryl, will you ever change? Someone tossed a bunch of stuff in this bag, in a hurry to leave. Poems in Lydia's mother tongue. cell phone. Locked, of course. to dress a wound. Bottle of disinfectant, obviously handled by someone who was bleeding. The concept of a laundry basket seems too abstract for some people. drafting table. Huh. That must be Lydia's desk. June in Costa Rica.
the blueprints of a house on the west coast of Costa Rica, Pura Vida Extension Project. June's whole life in pictures. Any news, guys? We're waiting on CSU for that. We're not going to get a return on our investment anytime soon. A thank you letter from Fortress Security. After the installation of a system for more, maybe he kept it for reference. I've already heard about this company somewhere. Can you take a look at the cards, please? I'll run the plates. Hey, mister. You can't go into the parking garage. It's a crime scene. Agent Smith, FBI. Oh, hi. Officer Norton. Hey, they didn't tell me you were coming down. Got something? Wyatt saw more leave at 225. Wyatt? The parking attendant. Part security guard, part valet. Anyway, a car that belonged to the victim left in a hurry. Or at least he thought it was more, until he found out he got his head cut off. There's skid marks on the ground and uh, signs of a minor accident at the exit. He must have really been in a hurry. Well, I've got a few questions. Where's the witness? Wyatt? He's, uh, in the security booth over there. He's super nice. I don't think you'll need to question him again. You mentioned skid marks. Yeah, they're very distinct. They start from his parking space and go all the way to the exit. They clean this place twice a day, so there's no doubt they're fresh. The driver peeled out of here in a hurry. And you said there was an accident near the exit. Yeah, minor one. Broken headlight, paint marks. He must have had a hard time handling it. Do we know what kind of car it was? Yeah, we called it in. It's the victim's sports car. Wyatt said there's only the sedan left. Did you find anything else? No, that's it. Since we're still waiting for forensics, we gotta be careful. But you know how it is. Right? Let me know if you have uh, any other questions.
We're waiting for the forensics. Hilda's plan for everything, even her eventual end. Can't be forced. Locked. I have to find a way to open it. Locked. Hello, Mr. Bazori. You must be mistaken. I'm Smith, Agent Smith. Yeah, sure. Do I know you? Everyone knows who you are. Is it just me, or are you pals with all the cops around here? Let's just say I'm pretty... intuitive. You know what I mean. In the years you've been hunting us, you've acquired a hell of a reputation among our kind. I didn't know you would come. I'm not looking for any trouble. I, I... I didn't do anything wrong. I... Just who the hell are you? Me? I, I'm nobody. The name's Wyatt Alvarez. I was embraced five years ago. Mm. A thin blood. I spent years hunting them when Quentin King ruled Boston. Unfortunately for me, the blood of my sire was already weak. So I can still catch glimpses of the sun, but I don't have actual powers. Who created you? His name was Victor, but he died last year. Do the kindred know you exist? Yeah, yeah. I followed the rules, but the prince told me he never wanted to see me again, so... I try not to make waves. I try to help out here and there. I'm hoping someone will notice one day, and I'll be allowed to become a true kindred. That's not very likely, if you ask me. I hope it works out for you. I'm doing what I can. Actually, if you could put a word in with the Prince, I'd be eternally grateful. I don't get involved in that kind of thing. Of course, obviously. But, seeing as how I'm already working for your child, Mr. Underwood, I thought that maybe... You work for Beryl? Yes. I also work at a red salon, a couple of hours each day. What do you do there, exactly? Cleaning, mostly. What are you doing here, then? Uh, 
I thought it was a pretty cushy gig. It leaves me with a lot of spare time, even while I'm on the job. And it also means I can live at night. Are you involved in what happened up there? Not at all. I swear. I've got a sweet job here. I'd never risk it. So what happened? I've got no clue. My shift started at 10 p.m., as usual. The sixth floor tenant left around 11. At midnight, one of Mr. Moore's bodyguards came down to get the car. They were going to a party, apparently. I didn't see them come back. Then, around 2.20 or so, one of Mr. Moore's cars went flying out of here. It hit the wall near the exit. Did you recognize the car? Yeah, it was his sports car. The only one like it here. Did you see who was behind the wheel? No, it's got tinted windows. I thought it was Mr. Moore at first. But from what happened upstairs, <laughs> I doubt it now. Hey, were you the one who- You really think if it was me who did it, I'd be standing around here trying to figure out what happened? What can you tell me about Moore? I saw him a lot. He's the tenant I got to know best because of his working hours. And he was the most generous when it came to maintaining his cars, too. Anything in particular about Mrs. Moore? Yeah, I see her every once in a while. Sometimes I see her with a girl, coming back from vacation. Sure is good they weren't here tonight. What makes you say that? Well, Mrs. Moore's car. I haven't seen it in the garage for weeks, and she's the one who took the girl to school. Mr. Moore told me they were on vacation, and he was going to go join them soon. Did you see the bodyguards today? James came by earlier this evening to move Mr. Moore's car, but I haven't seen them since. How do you open the dumpsters in the garbage room? What dumpster? The dump... <laughs> Are you toying with me? No, but the cops already looked. There's nothing there. Open it. Mr. Missouri, I promise you won't find anything there. And I can't open it anyway. It's for staff only. Why do you want to go through the trash anyway? You sure you want to piss me off, Wyatt? No, no, no. Of course not, Mr. Missouri. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Listen, we're just going to forget this conversation ever happened and... Excuse me? You didn't just try to corrupt my memories, did you? Oh, no. I, I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Missouri. I shouldn't have. I know. How can I make it up to you? You're taking a big risk by messing with someone like me. I'm sure that's not news to you. Yes, I know, but it doesn't have to come to that. I meant no disrespect, obviously. Obviously? So you could open this dumpster for me? Open it now. Just promise me you won't touch anything. Some of my stuff is in there. Please, don't touch it. I've already wasted enough time with you. I can't just open the door for you like that. I really can't. Really? You've got to understand. I can't let you see what's inside. I've been sent by the Prince of Boston. Do you really think I owe you anything? That's not what I meant. You talk too much. Open the door. Right away. All right. It's open. Wouldn't you rather tell me what you're hiding in there? Well, I cook a little. A guy's gotta survive. I don't have to tell you that. I don't make a whole lot of money here. What do you cook? Oh, a little of everything. I've got all my stuff in there. 
And there's some pretty rare ingredients. Rare? Yeah. And kind of illegal, too. Such as? In some recipes, well, I use vials of Kindred's blood, for instance. Whose blood? Well, it depends on what I can find. Okay, but what have you got right now, exactly? If I tell you, can it stay just between us? You're not fucking going to start again. Okay. Oh, okay, I... I managed to obtain some of Quentin King's blood. But of course, this guy's the perfect patsy. I almost pity him. Hmm. King answered the beckoning at the same time as the rest of the city's elders. It can't be his blood. One more thing, boss. Don't call me that. I hope we'll meet again, Mr. Missouri. to be recycled. Nothing of interest. Oh. I wasn't expecting to see you here. a bodyguard who died in the lobby. Where the hell is more? Garbage. <sighs> Nothing. Why, it's makeshift lab. And it's not meth. Who would want to take that? Empty soda cans. Rusty cans. A shoe with worn out leather. I wonder what he's cooking with that garbage. Old chicken feet. Where in God's name is forensics?
I've got what I need. Let's go back to the prince. Still going to relieve a colleague later. Yeah, we're all gonna need breaks and breathers. I've never seen anything like it. I've had to exhume a few old bodies over the years, but I never thought I'd stumble across a cemetery full of them in an apartment downtown. Stop! You can't come through here! Hi, uh, I live in the building and I was told to come give a statement. You need to go down to the precinct to give your statement, ma'am. Only law enforcement is allowed here. Oh, I hadn't understood that. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening. There's no way I'm gonna get access if I'm not one of them. This isn't rocket science. Keep it simple. I'll update the guys. You're taking over the investigation, and we'll put all the stabbing victims in crates and send them out <laughs> to the belt. Great. Now I just need to find a secluded spot. It's gotta be some kind of cult, right? At the moment, we're more inclined. This should do the trick. Sorry, but uh, we got a full house. Officers tripping over each other already. Only forensics is allowed in the crime scene. And the feds, of course. No sweat. It was just in case you needed help. I should find a uniform I can use to get in. We can't let you through. We've got orders.
Richard, he sensed me. He's here, but something's wrong. Good evening, officer. Uh, gentlemen. Body bags. What could that mean? Uh, I just got here. Can you fill me in? I've never seen anything like it. It's a real bloodbath in there. Do we know what happened? Captain Paulson thinks it looks like some kind of goddamn cult. But I've heard the feds talking about terrorists. The feds are here already? They showed up the minute we got here. We didn't even get a chance to see everything. How'd they get here so fast? They know who did it, obviously. Do you really think it's terrorists? It's weird, but hey, it could be. There are guys who are burned to a crisp, dismembered, beaten to a pulp. With those guys, you can expect anything these days. What do we know about all these bodies? Those are the ones we can take down already. The ones that were stabbed in the chest need to be put in crates and moved to the balcony. The feds will process them. We are not allowed to touch them. Stabbed how? Looks like some kind of sacrifice. They all got stabbed in the heart, it looks like. But if you want to make yourself useful, go see Paulson. Where is he? You just missed him. He just went into the living room. Okay, thanks. I'm going to take a look around. Body bags. What could that mean? Not now, please. Casings everywhere. All of them large caliber. Oh, there's so much blood. I sense. I sense. I sense you're losing control. It's all this blood. I need to focus. Mom, are you... are you feeling all right? Yes. Don't worry about me, Pumpkin. Mom, we... please? I... I'm going to be... sick. All this blood... it feels so... strong. Oh, crap. She feels as bad as I do. I want to leave, Mom. I'm scared. Hey, you're okay, Alzi. Uh, time out. Let's just calm ourselves down. It's so awful, Mom. My tummy really hurts. Look at me. Why would someone do this to them? My precious little sugar fangs. Look into my eyes. I'm right here. We'll take it slow, okay? Each step forward, we take together. Okay, Mom. We have to try and think of something else when that happens. I've got an idea. Let's play a game. Here? In the middle of all this? Why not? We can just pretend they're not here, right? We could play Riddle Me This. Are you sure? You know I'm pretty good at solving riddles. <laughs> me too. Hmm. I've got one. Riddle Me This. What makes a good slave but a poor master?
Easy peasy. A ghoul. They're here to obey and... No, you lose, Mom. Really? Hmm, I was so sure. The answer is fire. It's a good sleeve when you're its master. But if you lose control and it becomes your master, well, then that's bad. Do you think it's silly? Of course not. That's extremely clever, Sugar Fangs. Can't you feel all that blood everywhere? Are we going to be hungry like this the whole time? We'll figure something out. Say, I was thinking. We haven't played a game together in ages. I know. I miss our games. Why don't you think up a riddle for Mom to solve? I... Okay. Hunger like that. Not now. Not here. Somebody spilled wine here. There are lots of blood. Lives. Kinds were killed here. A vessel with more holes in him than a junkie. We're off to a good start. This area is sealed. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. A glass of wine with traces of cherry flavored lip gloss. casings everywhere, and they're all large caliber. Alright guys, listen up. The feds are taking over the investigation. So don't touch a thing. Put all the stiffs with stakes through their hearts out on the balcony. They'll take care of them. Alright, go. You know what you have to do. Shit. Uh, I have to find Richard and fast. All said and done, it's probably better than the feds are handling this case. There's a note. Surprise Jara had in store for him.
In my entire career, I've never seen anything. I'm a good girl. and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. Uh, we'll be here for a while. There's been wine in this glass. And there's a trace of lipstick. Cherry lip gloss? Yuck. Hmm. Same... Only federal operatives and their assets are allowed in this area. Sorry. Hey, uh, Central Dispatch sent me over to help. Captain Paulson. But you can call me Chief. Sure thing, Chief. Right. You heard the orders? I... Everything we find at the scene needs to be shown to the feds. Got it, Chief. And the balcony is off limits. But you don't seem too thrilled about that? Am I wrong? Is it so obvious, officer? It's the first time in my entire career and 30 years is a long time that I feel like we're babysitting a crime scene. Babysitting? We've been ordered to secure the premises, lend our experts, and not ask any questions. But why can't we go outside? The feds got here first. It's their rodeo. They secured that area to store whatever they decide to collect. get here that fast, they must have known. What they'd find. Exactly. Good point, officer. Usually, they show up after us if it's a new case, right? Because we're the ones who caught them. But that wasn't the case this time. Not at all. They even seemed annoyed to see us show up. But then they must have thought, it's nice to have help processing the scene and collecting evidence. Oh, all right. So, uh, what do we know so far? Lots of Vicks. It has all the makings of a drug deal gone bad. He's not buying it. But you have your doubts? I do. There's too many things that don't add up. Like what, Chief? Bodies in accelerated decomposition. Even some skeletal remains. Shit. Kindred were destroyed. My hunch is that the Feds are investigating a cult. But it's none of our business. Thanks for walking me through it, Chief. You report it to them if you find anything suspicious, okay? I don't need their kind of trouble. Sorry, but I'm busy.
Don't, don't look at it. So, have you come up with another riddle for me? Yes, I've got one. I'm listening. It's not too hard, is it? No, no. Riddle me this. I fear the sun more than anything, and the mortals have been fighting me since forever. If they catch me, they keep me in a box. Who am I? That's not how you play Riddle Me This. You have to figure it out by yourself. Too bad, because it was an easy one. It's the cold. Oh, of course. Silly me. It's the cold. It's kept in the fridge, and the vessels don't like it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one, don't you think? Oh, wow. You were so right. I was way off. Palsy scores one more point. And zero for mom. But I haven't said my last word. I'm not giving up. Are you feeling funny too? Are you... hungry? I'm almost done, okay? Let's just keep playing. Ugh, the hunger. It's too strong. Damn it! cotton towel that smells like lavender soap and wine. Someone must have tried to mop up a stain with it. Somebody spilled wine on this bag. Kylie was supposed to speak. <laughs> or rather, flatter Hazel. A cigar. A pouch stained with wine. Amiko Izanami. Now I remember. She turns vessels into marionettes during parties. Lavender soap. Can someone come and bag a briefcase in the kitchen? Scale the places. I'm sure it was a question of cost. What do we have here? Tons of evidence. Do you know if the team from Forensics LPU has shown up yet? No, I don't. I need to process the briefcase I found. And the invoice that was with it. An invoice? Yeah. For some glass tubes. Address to some warehouse over on Seller Street. Shit. There's a red salon in that district. We've got to hand it all over to the feds. 
I can do it. I already gave them the address. They'll probably send a team to investigate when they're done here. I've got to warn Hazel. You can't come through here. Sorry. I haven't finished collecting evidence. No trace of explosives. One of ours must have gone through it. Maybe trying to escape? A briefcase? What is it? It's a small suitcase. We put important papers in, Pumpkin. A handcuff. Like the one I found. Pinot Noir. I think I used to like this wine. This security level, yes, Agent Olsen. Do you know how much time we got left to get this done? I've got no idea. I see. And the missing Delta? No. We still haven't found him. So much blood sprayed everywhere. Come on, our hands on deck.
Where are you taking me, Pumpkin? I told you I'd be a big girl, but it's really hard. I really don't feel good. Not even a tiny bit. It's all this blood. Me either, Pumpkin. It's not easy. <sighs> Let's take a little time out then. Weren't you supposed to be coming up with a riddle for me? Oh yeah. I forgot. I'm ready. I'm listening. Okay, but it's the last one, alright? Cross my heart, Pumpkin. So, riddle me this. If the child of Hazel Iverson is the sire of my child, who am I to Hazel Iverson? Hmm. Hmm. Let me think on it a moment. I guess. I would be her child. Oh, you figured it out. That was a hard one, too. You're not disappointed, are you? No, no. I'm happy that you're so good at riddles. So are you, Sugar Fangs. I love it when we play this game. So do I, Pumpkin. It's so much fun. And we feel better. Time out is over now. Let's go. We're really close to Richard, but I don't want to see him. Halsey, so you've been hearing him too, and you didn't say anything. I know he doesn't like me. possibly make you think that. He doesn't want you to take care of me. He says it out loud all the time. Listen to me, Halsey. What matters most is that I love you, don't you think? Yes, I guess so. Then we need say nothing more. I don't have to tell him you're here. Getting him out of this mess is already doing him a favor. It won't take me long. Just wait for me here. Yes, Mom. I will. the photos. Now we need to collect them. Alright. I'm gonna be here a while. Hey there. Perfect timing. You the explosives expert I called in for? No, no. I just got here. I'm back up. I'm here to gather ballistics evidence. Good luck with that. Why is that? I have no clue as to what went down here, but bullets were on the menu. Shots fired in all directions. And it looks like your basic 9mm is no longer in style. Huh, how's that? See for yourself. Some of the impacts left holes as big as my fist. Okay, I'll give you a hand when I'm done here. Let me brief you on the zone we're clearing now. We've got a stiff in the room on the right. Looks like he died from blunt force trauma. Anyway, we've got orders to pack them up as is for the feds. Don't bother with the report. They're taking care of everything. All right, then. In the room on the left, there's a corpse we need to analyze. But I'm warning you, it's a real mess. The people who did this are crazy. It's all priority. Just check the boxes. I'll get started immediately. Shit. Richard.
They're here. They found us. Before I knew it hit me. I had a stake in my heart. I've never seen anything like it. These mortals aren't afraid of us. Shh, gentle. You shouldn't be here. You should be at the Institute. Calm down. What happened here? The mortals who are here, it's the Second Inquisition. <sighs> what makes you say that? Are, are you sure? Yes, there's even a man of the cloth in charge of them. Monsignor Stanford. They mowed us down like so many blades of grass. All of us. So, they found us. We have to go on the others. Wait, there might still be kindred here. We can't leave them behind. This is insane. It's irresponsible. The prince asked me to find Miley, but I need your help. Miley? Well, now I understand. The prince had you released against my orders, and she sent you here. And you'd rather obey her? She's using you. There's no way I'll help. Ask her for help since you're here for her. You didn't show up at the Elysium. I thought you might need help. Now isn't that ironic? The doctor needing help from the patient. But I was right, was I not? I... Yes. That's not the question. It's obvious that Hazel is manipulating you. She cares about me. I don't see why it's an issue. Does she care about you? Or about your premonitions? That argument doesn't hold water. Hazel's not the first person to take an interest in our gifts. Princes have always sought glimpses of tomorrow to better rule their domains. Take Quentin King, for example. Yes, I know. She wants to separate you from me, I'm sure of it. What has she been telling you about me? Mom! Mom, you're not going to tell him about me, right? He never wants us to be together. Hazel told me that she trusted me. You do well not to return the favor. Why is that? You don't release a patient from a Markovian Institute to run a few errands. Ugh. You always see the bad in everything. Your gifts can be particularly useful to her. Keep it in mind. I just know it's a good thing that she likes us. Well, you particularly. Right. It's a good thing I keep my emergency kit at the Prince's apartments. Why? I'll give you a dose once we're back there. That should be enough to get you back to the Institute. You see? I knew it! He's always scolding us! I never promised that I wouldn't ever go back. But first, I need to finish what I came here to do. That's not how it works. You can't just interrupt your treatment whenever you feel like it. Richard! I'm fine. Since I can't diagnose it, I'll take your word for it. Hazel should have respected my instructions. What do you mean? She should have followed the treatment I prescribed for you, that's all. This issue is not over. I will have words with her. Let's get out of here. You go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Lisa, that's not what You I... want me to trust you, but you don't trust me. It's not that. I'm... I'm just worried about you. Get going. The clock is ticking. You can, at the very least, let me help you. Here. With this, you should be able to temporarily impersonate anyone.
I'll find Miley and catch up to you, okay? She was with me when they attacked us. She was? Yes, she was injured, but she managed to escape down the hallway. I heard them capture her. I can still sense her. She's hurt. But she's still here. Thank you. Come on, we don't have a minute to spare. Oh, and tell them they have the address of the Red Salon on Cellar Street. We should expect a second attack there. I must inform the court. Be careful. I'll be counting the minutes until you return to us. With Richard's help, I'll be able to find Miley for Hazel. A stake. There's no doubt about it. This is for us. There's been blood in this glass. I never understood wasting vessels like that. A reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store mortal bodies. A cigar. Barely smoked. That's where it was stubbed out. Huh, I've already seen this brand here. What's going on here? have done that. It's the reference of the container that was here. It's the code for a body they must have picked up. must have been screwed onto an injection gun. And the fibrogen... That's an improved coagulant. I've heard that if it's used on one of our kind, it can keep us from regenerating. Or even using our powers. A real nasty concoction. A vial of some sort of chemical. Fibrinogenodyne BB. Sunrise Group London. That vial must have been screwed onto something. Have you learned anything? I'm just getting started. Well, actually, it has been an hour already. There's just so much evidence to collect. You look like you've had better days. It's not like this is my first crime scene, you know? But none of this adds up. It's the kind of case you take home with you. What do you mean? Go figure. What's with all these bodies in various states of decay? This shit is gonna give me nightmares you can't wake up from. And the feds are telling us not to ask any questions. You have an idea why? Never met a talkative fed. And they graphed them poker faces at Quantico. But I can tell you one thing. 
They got here fast, quicker than the blowflies. They took one look at the carnage and acted like it was just another day at the office. All right, why don't I bag this room? How far did you get? Examine the spatter trajectories. Get us enough data to calculate spray velocity. We'll need it. I'll keep collecting samples of blood and body fluids. All right. That's a knife wound. <laughs> Bringing a knife to a gunfight? They took him for dead. He's barely breathing. Not a room was spared. Ah, finally, Calvary. Thanks for coming. Reinforced container that locks from the outside. Not commonly used to store so, mortal bodies. Nothing. A photocopier and some office supplies. No corpses anywhere? No. It's the only room without a body. But it sure. sad when we're through with this. of lead. She's wearing a Red Salon vessel's uniform. Ugh, I remember now. It's 
the effects of the drugs that Richard gives them to enhance their flavor. Even dead, I feel a righteous rage. Only Richard's work on donors makes that possible. That sounds like Richard. Preparing vessels with injections? Kindred were toasting here. He's dead. At least some of us were able to fight back. That must be the soldier they were looking for. S.A.D. Must be the name of their unit. Richard's servant. Natasha, keep your voice down. There are still people here. Shit. You don't look so good. What did they do to you? We... we hid in here. I was with a vessel that Richard had prepared for the evening. Carmen. I, I was able to conceal the door behind us, but it was too late. For Carmen. We were followed. But I got that son of a bitch. Miley, have you seen her? She was. Uh, yeah. Went out to smoke. I, I. Take it slowly. Hear me. The bastards who did this are still here. Just hang in there until they leave and. specimens to move. Here are the containers Richard told me about. Adrenaline? That only stimulates mortals. <laughs> Be 
Bingo. The files of everyone they're taking away. Which one is Miley in? Can't go in there. Monsignor's standing orders. No interruptions. So Stanford is back there. But I just wanted to... It's too dangerous, and you know it. You've got something to give him. Tell Olsen is novice. Suit yourself. But remember I warned you. If I decide to go in there, I'd better be Olsen. Collecting us, I can't believe it. Emmett Olson. What's he going to do with that? Huh, there's a note on this one. Believe it. Whoa. A am I seeing this right? They're collecting us. Dust. They didn't just kill neonates. I wonder who that was. Bones. Probably a neonate. Bones. Probably a neonate. Flesh. That kindred had been embraced recently. They also suffered losses. This one's missing an arm. The one I found in the bathroom, I'm guessing. From the looks of their gear, they knew what they were getting into. It looks like armor. S.A.D. Same unit as the dead guy in the office. Something to dip someone into. Must be for the kind. Don't touch those papers. Shit. There are names on these files. I'd better get him out of here so I can take a look. Don't bother with that. Those are Stanford's files. He brings paperwork on a job like this? Yes. So his novice can record whether they were captured or exterminated. Oh, if they have intel on us, I have to find out what they know. I needed to see him anyway. I'll just take them to him. Don't bother, he'll pick them up on the way to see Stanford. Slipped my mind. Sorry. They're collecting us, I can't believe it. I don't have the time.
Which one do you want to take down? Sorry, I've got one more thing to do. No problem. So, has forensics processed the bedrooms? Yeah, I think so. They, uh... You... think so? Isn't there anyone here that can inform me about anything? I've been asking for an hour. I must give Monsignor an update, detailing how long this is going to take. Let's not keep him waiting, then. But the local police are very... Just tell them Agent Olsen sent you. And we will see how high they are willing to jump. We still have bodies to evacuate and samples to recover. Olsen? That's Monsignor Stanford's novice. I just had one quick question first. Yes? Seeing one senior Stanford's not the type you want to piss off, right? Indeed. But it is that same unwavering attitude that will one day save us all. These monsters are a corruption, and only the incorruptible can defeat them. Speak for yourself, monster. I guess. He doesn't enjoy it. But it is his calling to purify the world. And to think they say I'm special. I was just thinking that it might be faster. If I just went to tell Monsignor myself. That's out of the question. He abhors being interrupted by anyone except myself. But I... I'll do it. I'm the only novice here. Novice? So they have ranks. It's for your own safety. Trust me. We know so very much. And still so very little about those we hunt. I saw your instructions on the containers. Therefore... My research. Oh. You're studying the... Specimens. More or less. I prefer to refer to it as... Salvation. Purification. He's a nut job. And a complete fanatic, too. But now is neither the time nor the place to discuss theology. Uh, can't argue that, of course. All right, I'll let you get back to work. Perfect. Thanks, Olsen. They could use it as an excuse to add a door.
Put down the documents, please. Wait a second. Now that you mention... I really don't have time to do this. Go put away what's on the table. Hi. Okay. Finally. Now I can take a look at those files. Targets. Numbered. With names. <gasps> they even have a file on Richard. I think that's Dijon's child. Was, I mean... Oh! Miley! They haven't taken her yet. Jara already evacuated. She's on the council, I think. No way I'm letting them keep that. Monsignor will be growing impatient. Mommy knows what she's doing. Go away from me at the elevator. I'll be right there.
You took your time, my son. Please forgive me, Monsignor. I'm done with this wretched creature. I'll continue back at headquarters, where I have more appropriate tools. You found some? Speaking of headquarters, any news? Nothing, Monsignor. Bad. I was hoping to hear from our informant. An informant? No, I... Now we have proof that their intel is reliable. Without the informant, we never would have found them so quickly. And utterly exposed. So we were betrayed. These monsters are as fickle and deceitful as the devil himself. Do you know who... Seeing them turn on each other, it's in their nature. But the one who betrayed them... None of them will ever surprise me, as you would have been wise to consider before approaching me. Uh, I don't understand. <laughs> In St. Leopold's name, we will find you all to the very last. And like always, you've completed your mission. Like always? Those words don't come from me. You must know what they say about you here. No, I don't know. Enlighten me. Well, you have kind of a reputation. It's actually rather flattering. What exactly do they say? Oh, you want to know? I didn't think... Simple curiosity, nothing more. Everybody kept saying that Galeb Bazori has been in tough spots before, and that you come through them unscathed. They were right. Don't listen to gossip. Forge your own opinions. Don't worry about it. It's not a natural thing here. It takes some experience. Mens et manus. I beg your pardon? Nothing. It's Latin. My mind wandered for a moment. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think your success on the mission could play to our advantage? I mean for... The Prince will decide your fate when the time comes. Being useful to her can't hurt. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Beryl Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Beryl is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. 
Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you, what caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fang, I'm going to have a word with him. Oh? To Beryl? Why? I trust you, but I don't trust him. I asked you not to go near him. Apparently, I didn't make myself clear enough. I thought the prince was gonna call for you any minute now. I'm sure I'll have enough time to clear the air with him first, once and for all. While you're waiting, stay put. As you wish. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. I'm sorry, but I need to take a break. Any news here? Everyone is stressed out. I've never seen anything like it. They're all talking in hushed voices. They barely dare to look at each other. Hmm. People and their moods. I'm not interested in that. I saw them take one of Jason Moore's bodyguards below. To question him, I imagine. That could be of interest to you. Say, how are things with the girl? Excuse me. It's Zhu Feng, right? She's not a girl. Things going okay? The interest certain people have taken in her has given me cause for concern. Maybe that's something you should talk about with the person in question. Do you think you'll embrace her soon? As soon as possible, once the prince gives me permission. You met Fang at MIT, didn't you? I first discovered her by reading one of her articles. What does she write? She studies the blue economy. To each his own. I don't even know what that means. It's about hope. A hope of making up for centuries of exploitation. Since when are you concerned about that? Since I saw Beryl poison our kind. Blood or money? I've never embraced anyone. How come? The story of my life. And my unlife. I have no progeny, mortal or otherwise. By choice? Yes, and no. When things weren't so strict, I could have asked, but I didn't have anyone in mind. Not like you and Fang. Now it's too late, as I've clearly been made to understand. Maybe you'll get another chance. Oh, you mean that after the SI is done with us, our overpopulation problem will be solved? I didn't mean it like that. But still. Be that as it may, I hope the Prince will allow you to do it. I don't know. I hope last night isn't weighing on you too heavily. I'm alright. The Prince won't base her decision on just that. You've already proven your worth, Mr. Bazori. We'll see about that. I'd better be going. See you. Message from Caius. Need you downstairs. Urgent issue. Bad timing. I'm going to have to choose. Help Caius or speak with Beryl.
There's no point in hanging around here bothering me. It's going to take me a while. Very well, Mr. Sheridan. Please excuse me. waiting for Mr. Leto's signal. Until then, if you have any questions, save on. Got it? No problem. Great. I want to report on his activities pronto. I don't like the sound of that at all. Oh, there you are. Follow me, please. We'll speak in private. Can we get this over with quickly? You wanted to see me? Happy to see you, Caleb. We don't usually let anybody down here, but I can bend the rules for you. To what do I owe this honor? I need you. Some things come up. On the night of the attack, someone sent a message to an unauthorized recipient. Do you know who it was? Not now, but I will soon enough. Otherwise, the prince will have my head. Caleb, I need your help. I get the feeling that it's all connected. It's too huge to be a coincidence. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Jara Drory. What you're telling me is extremely serious. I hope you have proof. If I did, do you think I'd be asking for your help? But I wouldn't accuse her unless I had serious doubts. Think it through carefully. For starters, she's one of the few who knows how the system works. She'd be able to cover her tracks, wouldn't she? Maybe. But maybe she made a mistake. According to our intel, Jara may have been captured. <laughs> she was caught in her own trap. Anyways, nothing concrete. Just a hunch, if you want to call it that. In my place, under the current circumstances, I can't really go poking my nose in her business. And I can. Nobody will bother you. I'm not asking for much. Just take a look in Jara's room to see if you can find anything that ties her to any of this. And if you could do it quickly. Why? Because I'm about to erase a ton of data. It's the Code Red protocol. And since Jara vanished, the Prince wants her personal data to disappear along with her. That doesn't give us much time. You in? I could maybe go and take a look around. Great. I found a key to her room. Take it. Thanks. It's our last chance.
to recover the data from Jara Drury's computer before everything disappears for good. Just insert this thumb drive and it will download everything I need. If she betrayed us, I'll know. Fine. I'll go see what I can find. Thanks. One last thing. Uh-huh. If you could keep this just between you and me. Fine. And don't come back to see me here. It's supposed to be sealed. It'll look suspicious. I'll send in an engineer after you. Give him the drive when you're done, but don't tell him anything. We have to keep this between us. As you wish. Caleb, our secret agent is back already. The soldier is on furlough. Not for long, I'm afraid. The prince will undoubtedly have some new task for me. At least she trusts you. She hardly speaks to her primogen. Even Beryl is in the dark. He's not used to that. It'll be good for him. I heard you were doing business with him. It's something to do with the Rosemond Society, my foundation. Why? I see. All I can tell you is that Beryl's really the one who is in charge of it. Are you still not talking? You could say that. Any regrets? I don't see why I would have any regrets. That's no surprise. Personally, I find that giving a child so much power is dangerous. The problem is that you have to watch them all the time. Otherwise, they end up making a mess of things. But trying to influence them is pointless. You must be subtle about it. That's all. I give a mem just enough freedom so that she doesn't completely hate me. But I know exactly how to make her do whatever I want. Do you really think you'll have time to embrace Fang? What do you mean? Well, with all the elders gone, who knows who'll be next? That's not something I'm willing to discuss with you. Suit yourself. No, excuse me, I have to go. Of course. Just ignore me, and then call me in like this. Now get out of here before I make your blood boil. Mr. Siaka, you're taking a big risk. Goodbye. Asshole. 
What a nightmare. It's chaos here. Now she's sending you. Run into some trouble with the prince? That's a question to ask Hazel. She's the one who doesn't know what she wants. You seem unusually tense. Are you sure she's the problem? Obviously, the whole situation is a nightmare, but Hazel's not helping. She's obviously overwhelmed, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. I don't know how you still put up with her. You owe your place in the primogen to her. What, you think I don't know that? I've always done my best to keep her from screwing things up. But when she reached out to Hartford? After what happened last night, I'm not sure you realize just how deep the shit we are in goes. And I suppose you have the solution? Maybe. Not that I'm happy about it. There's interesting stuff going on in other places. Boston's not the center of the universe. We don't know who can be trusted. This is no time to leave. If the Prince has kept you in the dark, she must have had a good reason for it. Just look at what happened. Open your eyes, Galeb! The Boston Camarilla is crumbling before our eyes! What are the odds we survive? If you leave now, you're no better than our enemies. You're one to talk. You know what it's like to feel called to be elsewhere. That has nothing to do with this. Salem isn't elsewhere. You won't be any safer there. It's just a starting point. We thaumaturgs will find a way to deal with it. I see that you've planned for everything. I've already lost too much time. You shouldn't waste your time either. If you leave, Hazel will catch up with you. What do you mean? You know, she doesn't like people who have been disloyal, especially now. Hazel doesn't need new enemies. She should be wary. Be careful. Goodbye, Galeb. Let's see if Caius was right. That should take less than a minute. Jara has always been wary of new technology. Jara always was old-fashioned. Whatever's in this box must be important. Jara was conducting her own investigation. There is no way Caius would be expecting that. It appears Caius was wrong. He and Jara may have been looking for the same individual. 
I hope Caius will be able to use what's on this thumb drive. I think that's everything. Now it's Caius's turn. Hello, Mr. Vizorin. Mr. Leto asked me to wait until you were done. He also told me you'd have something for me. Here it is. Give it to him, and him alone. And don't ask any questions. I get it. Are you done here? You may proceed. Thanks. Hmm. I hope Caius knows what he's doing. Hazel is probably ready to see me now. I won't make her wait. The prince is ready to see you now. Great. Galeb. My prince. We were expecting you. How may I be of service to you this time? One thing at a time. The situation has changed. The money is gone. The accounts have been emptied. What? That's impossible. Only Jason Moore could have transferred the money. The situation is dire. Moore would never have done it on his own. He would never have dared. I agree. It's much too bold a move for him. And that's what concerns me the most. Someone used him to attack us. Someone who was extremely well prepared. It might be one of our own. That's what I think. It's the most plausible explanation. If there's a traitor among us, I'll have their head. One thing at a time. I'll take care of the traitor, personally. Failure is a luxury we will soon be unable to afford. If you have nothing more to say, we can move on to the reason I sent for you. What did you think about Richard Dunham's file? Money that should be going to me seems to go missing whenever he touches it. Richard is far too important to me. I can't afford to upset him now. But if his research doesn't pay off soon, I won't hesitate to show him my disappointment. Did you read Jara Drory's file? I wish I'd never seen it. There's too much I despise in it. She never mentioned she was monitoring the Primogen's finances. But she's not here to shed any light on it. I'm listening. I've asked for your presence here because I have a new mission for you. Delson was able to track down the men who attacked us. It wasn't easy, but it was impossible for them to disappear without leaving a trace after what they did yesterday. Where are they hiding? Long Island. <sighs> yes, of course. An abandoned facility just off the coast. An old fort. It's the ideal place for a secret base. And certainly much more. Who knows what they're up to out there? <sighs> How is it we didn't notice a thing? They have abundant resources, and we're short on eyes. It doesn't matter. We'll find the people responsible for the situation later. Our most pressing issue is preventing them from striking us again. How? You're going to go there and kill their leader. Sending me there. That seems to be a rather bold choice. 
I don't see anyone better for the job. Infiltration isn't really my specialty. You'll be dealing with Kine. You'll be a fox in a hen house. I'm not worried about you. And Delson knows how to get you in. Oh, that changes everything. They evacuated the bodies from the site of the party, which is how we were able to pick up their trail. There's a small, nondescript warehouse at Jeffrey's Point. As far as we can tell, their transfers from Boston to Long Island are made by boat. To avoid drawing attention to themselves, they've chosen to employ only small craft. There are bodies packed in the warehouse waiting to be shipped over. Do you get the picture? You want me to disguise myself as a body to be evacuated? Exactly. All you have to do is stop simulating your vital functions for a few hours. It's risky. It's risky, but it's now or never. We might never get another opportunity. We have to try. The last transfer is probably going to take place tonight. After that, there's no way of knowing when we'll get another chance. I need to know the details. Let us worry about getting you into the warehouse. We've made all the preparations. You won't have to worry about a thing until you get to Long Island. We know where they are. Why go through their warehouse? Charging into Long Island blind would be far too risky. And with a traitor in our midst, I'd rather keep this to a small circle of trusted people, to avoid any other unpleasant surprises. And after that? Once you're on the island, you'll be in uncharted territory. You'll be on your own. Who is my target? Walter Stanford. He's the head of the Boston Task Force. He's part of what they call the Society of Leopold. Someone else will take his place. No need for you to worry about that for the time being. Your mission is to eliminate Stanford, and that's all. What do we know about this Stanford? Not much. They're very careful. He was sent from the Vatican, and he brought other fanatics with him. If he's here, it means that Rome has faith in him, and that can't be good for us. He's got to be taken out. What's the Vatican getting out of all this? Your guess is as good as mine. But it seems that the kind are trying to get a better understanding of us in order to hunt us more effectively. These priests have been our enemies for ages. They have knowledge. Putting an end to them is crucial. We must keep our enemies from unifying their strength. I don't wish to be the bearer of ill tidings, but what if I fail? Do you have a backup plan? Galeb, you won't fail. You're our only hope. We place all our trust in you to complete this essential mission. There's no room for error, Bazori. Aren't you worried someone will tip off the SI? There's still a traitor among us. The traitors, my department. You need to strike quickly, and don't let anyone know of your plans. We can't take the slightest risk. All right. I've heard enough. Very well. Then you should get going. We've already lost enough time. Very well, my prince. I'm guessing you tipped Bazori off to the traitor? Yes. Any news? Nothing since Richard's report. My city is in danger. Everything I've built, all the dreams I've invested, 
that Judas is a threat to everything. Not for long. You'll bounce back. Yes. Congratulations on your negotiations with the Chantry. Our agreement with Hartford is crucial. I almost didn't make it out. I could have ended up a guinea pig in their strange experiments. Don't be ridiculous. We would have realized you'd gone missing soon enough. I would have sent someone to get you. Ugh, that's enough brooding. That's not why I brought you here. I have a new favor to ask of you. What a surprise. About what I told you earlier concerning Delson and Long Island. I've got a plan. Oh, I know that look. Hazel. This is the best moment to strike. That sounds like the definition of rushing into things. Yes, but we have no choice, Delson. We need to blind them from the inside. They know too much about it. We have to change that. For that, we need someone to hit them with a surprise attack from within their compound. I wish that person luck. It's you. That's way out of my league. Hazel's not asking for your opinion. You proved you were reliable with Hartford. We need your skill sets for such a risky and vital task. That's precisely what's got me on edge. It's your chance to prove to the court once and for all that you deserve a place on the Council, M.M. After this, you'll be untouchable. I sure hope so. All right? How do I get on this island? By boat? I doubt it. Coastline's under surveillance. So I swim across. All right? What then? Kai's wrote a program that can help us. If you can upload it into their system, it'll corrupt all the data they've got in their database. Their systems, the archives, it'll all be lost. Allowing us to cover our tracks. It's our best shot at making it through this. You'll just have to insert it into a computer that's on their network. That's absolutely essential. Any questions? Your plan sounds pretty old school. There's no way to do that remotely? We've tried, but Leto's agents weren't able to breach their security. Their network's too highly protected. That's why we need you. I see. Am I allowed to take a partner? I'd feel a lot better about this if I had someone covering my back. I understand, but that's not possible. We're already taking a risk by sending a person in to infiltrate their hideout. Got it. So, let me get this straight. You want me to infiltrate the enemy base alone? The same enemies who just slaughtered half the camp. Quit whining. You can have help. Oh, really? Your task will not be easy. You'll need a diversion while you sabotage their system. A raid near their base, for example. That could work. Who will you send? I refuse to sacrifice any more of our people. So we might as well send in the riffraff. The Anarchs could do the job. Come again? You heard me. I want you to go see them and convince them to go with you to Long Island. You're trying to thin their herd. I'm balancing the scales, that's all. They can't stand us. They'll never agree to fight for us. Let alone on their own without us. They don't have to know they'll be alone. Lead them to believe our forces will join up with them. The SI is a threat to the entire city. They're just as concerned as we are. Send someone else to negotiate. A real emissary. No one else knows the Anarchs as well as you do. They go to your clubs, don't they? They know who you are. They know they can trust you. I barely know them. I see a couple of them once in a while, but that's it. We're not exactly friends. You're still in the best position to negotiate with them. Yeah. Right then. Let's say I agree. You don't have a choice, but I'll humor you. How am I supposed to go about it? I can't just go chasing down every Anarch I know to ask for their help. There's only one Anarch that counts. They're Baron. Randall Thane? That's right. 
He's in charge of the various Anarch gangs in the region. I don't know where he is right now. You'll need to use your network. Hmm. I've got an idea of who I can ask. What can I use as leverage if they try to negotiate? Money. Favors. Offer them whatever seems useful. All right. One more thing. Don't tell anyone about your task. Not even your sire. I don't want the Council poking their noses into this. That will be all. I'm counting on you, M.M. Be careful, and good luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. M.M., there you are. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you when you got back. I was busy. Everyone's got their priorities, I guess. It's not like I've been waiting for hours. Oh, please. You're always asking for more space. You're going to complain about me giving you space now? I'm sorry I hoped for a little bit of support from you. You haven't asked for any since you threw me out of your life. Excuse me? What are you talking about? We never- Broke up? It's been 30 years, Amem. What? I don't remember. I- Come on. I get the feeling we need to clear up a few things. Hey. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Tell me what's going on. The warlocks. I knew their library would leave a mark. They fucked with my head. So, if I understand right, you have no memory of our breakup. None whatsoever. I really thought that we... I mean... You know. There's a reason the warlocks have a bad reputation. And you said it's been 30 years? More or less. That seems like forever. And then again, the blink of an eye for us. Believe me, it's been a long 30 years. When I was there, with the Tremere, I saw things, glimpses of the past. It was like I was reliving certain episodes of my past. I guess that's what Osborne meant when he told me about the memories. What exactly did you see? I saw my attack with the knights. I need to know. What happened after that? Did they pay for what they did to me? It's a long story, Mem. And it's not really a happy one. That's all the more reason! I want to know what happened. It's my memory, not some game. Exactly. I don't want to see you suffer again. I won't allow it. But it's not your choice. It's not you we're talking about. It's me. I can't just sit here not knowing. I won't tell you a thing. Hilda, please. I said no. There's no point in insisting. Fine. Whatever you want. That's all. I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I can't imagine how upsetting it must have been. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm sorry. I've got to go. I need to take some time to process all of this. The prince is sending me out on another task. I can't screw up. What kind of task? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Hazel made that exceedingly clear. If she thinks things are better like that, I believe her. For God's sake, Amem, I'm your sire. You should trust me, not that snake in the grass. Personally, I've never had anything bad to say about Hazel. Unlike me. Is that it? <laughs> You'd be singing a different tune if you knew what I know. If I knew what? Nothing. You wouldn't believe me anyways. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm sorry. You're right. You're my sire. I should believe you. And I do. 
We good? Would you tell me what you know? Please. Seriously, you don't think you're laying it on a little too thick? Not at all. You can be such a pain sometimes. Hazel's a smart woman. She knows what she needs to do to get what she wants. And she wants you. That's going too far. You think it's an honor, but you should really be worried. Hazel never does anything she's not sure she'll benefit from, which means she's got ways to make you bend to her will. She's careful to hide her secrets from you, safe behind her herald. Tonight could be your last chance to discover them. Very well, let's move on. You're right. You should go get some rest, and do think over what we've discussed. Promise me you'll be careful. I'll try. A direct route to the prince's apartments. April plays the guard dog. The swan's nest. I hope it's worth it. Didn't know Hazel was into music. on the wall. I've always found swans very moving. They're beautiful, but full of melancholy. It's a nice symbol. better now why Dijon never mentioned his sire. Hazel's always one step ahead. Hazel had another child before Miley? Shit. I had no idea. Seeing as how it ended, I'm not really surprised. Something moved. So 
So Hazel has her eye on my clubs. Ugh, politics. Always politics. What's her game? Is this how she thanks her allies? That explains why Hazel's holding off on Fang's embrace. Underwood. What a creep. Bazori is a loyal dog, and Hazel's got him on a short leash. Hazel said there was an accident, but it was actually an execution. If Leisha were to find out... I should go. It's gonna be a long night. First, the Anarchs. Mm, but I have to find them first. Halsey? Yes, Mom. I'm here. Maybe I'll find a way to read it. How many hours have I spent sitting in this armchair for my therapy sessions? <laughs> Only Richard would still use that. Richard must have had a breakthrough, if Hazel's interested in it. I see guilt. Richard often asked me. Hey, Pumpkin. What are you looking at? The picture is scary. Come now. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're not going to be afraid of a couple paintings now, are you? No, but... Yes, I know. It's Richard. He was angry, but he wasn't angry with you. You know... I don't think he is. He doesn't like me following you around. Yes, but it's because he worries you'll get hurt. Pumpkin, there are much more serious things going on right now. Those people who put us into boxes. And who hurt you. Yes. Them. But don't be scared. Mommy's here. I know. 
I won't let anyone hurt you. Ever. There you are. But... What on earth is that mark? I ran into an experienced Inquisitor. I was caught off guard. Not a dangerous mission, was it? You brought back a souvenir. I'm still in one piece. That's all that matters. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since I got back, but... Uh... The Prince hasn't given me a moment's rest since I returned. I won't hide the fact that I was happy that you were the one to... Well... That I informed them about the Second Inquisition. Yes, I can imagine. Everyone's petrified. I can sense it. He's lost it when she found out. I had a hard time convincing her I was telling the truth. I admit that even I... She's going to ask for your help. I'm sure of it. She didn't follow your treatment protocol. Usually, I give you your treatment when you awaken. You're not stable, Laisha. Enough with that already. You failed miserably with the mission the Prince gave you. That's proof of it. What do you mean? You didn't have a firm grasp of the risks. How could I have guessed that? And to top it off, you didn't bring anyone back to the Prince. You'll become more and more overwhelmed by your visions and your hallucinations. All this because she's afraid. Hazel has become dependent on you. What, with the SI on our doorstep? I don't find it surprising to be afraid. What, with everything they've learned about us? And what they just did? Our prince fears losing her throne more than her head, believe me. She needs your premonitions to help her anticipate the future, to try to influence the course of events. She would like to, you mean? What do you mean by that? They're strange images. You mean to say they're symbolic? That's it, symbolic, I guess. But it's hard to say what they could mean. That's why I don't think it's a good idea to encourage Hazel to think she can rely on your visions to serve her own ambitions. Here's a dose of your treatment. Take it immediately. This will rid me of my premonitions, is that it? I don't have time to break this to you gently. I have to go straight to the point. What are you talking about? Laisha, Halsey isn't real. What? It's not true, is it? You're the only one who sees her. No, no, no. Our family has a gift for seeing things. No, no, I... Halsey is my daughter. In your mind, it's always difficult to pull you away from her. That's why I try to treat you as soon as you awaken to keep Halsey from reappearing. He's lying, Mom! He hates me! You're either lying or you're wrong. I don't know which, but it's not true. Laisha. But, but Hazel, H Hazel sees her. When your hallucinations increase, your premonitions do too. They become more specific and more reliable. And that's what the prince wants. But you grow increasingly catatonic. Halsey starts to take over. No! I don't want you to leave me! Enough! Shut up, both of you! It's just you and me, Leisha. Oh, no. He's a liar! It's, it's not true! I regret having to inflict this terrible shock on you. Each and every time. Every time? Leisha, the prince wants to see you. Immediately. Yes, of course. Just a minute. I'm not supposed to be here. I should have left for the Red Salon already. Why? No, you, you can't just leave like that. I have too many questions. Hazel doesn't like to wait. We'll have time. Go now. Obey the Prince, Leisha. Stay where it's safe, and above all, drink. <sighs> there. <clears throat> I'm coming.
Laisha, I wanted to thank both of you for- The prince sees me. See, Mom? Richard's a liar. Are you all right, Laisha? You see me- Quit pretending. Come now, Laisha. What's wrong? You've been pretending to see Halsey since the very beginning. Why did you lie to me? Lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Halsey is part of you, and I accept you just the way you are. That's all. You are the only one I trust. Tell me, why would I play games with you? That's exactly the question I'm asking you. It's more complicated than it seems. Halsey has made you better. And in my opinion, she's good for you. I don't know about that. But I don't like feeling like I'm being toyed with. Nobody is toying with you. It's quite the contrary. We all need you. Now, more than ever before. You need to help us. Obviously. But what exactly do you want me to do this time? An impression, an opinion about what's going on. A premonition, basically. Don't take it like that. Others are less scrupulous than I, believe me. What are you talking about? Richard, for one, who has manipulated your memory multiple times. What? Ask him about it. Just know that there are far worse than me creeping around you, Laisha. Mom? It's not as simple as that. I don't choose when they happen. Mom! Mom, listen to me! Yes, sweetie. What is it? There's no point. The swan will lose its head in two days. I just saw it. We know, Mom. What's going on? Laisha, is Halsey speaking to you? What is she saying? Halsey sees a swan. It'll lose its head in two days. But that could mean a lot of things. It's not very clear, you mean? Nothing's ever certain and- Of course. There's, there's got to be a way to- Shuffle things. There must. Not after everything I've done. I won't believe it. Hazel, I... Please leave. I need to think. As you wish. I don't know who to believe anymore. Richard or Hazel. Please, Mom. I'll be a good girl, I promise. So, we're inseparable? Like two peas in a pod? Yes. Like two peas in a pod, sweetie. <sighs> Mom, what's wrong?
fine, it's all right. It's just, I need to talk to Richard, Pumpkin. Ken? No, we're happy together. It's not just you. The hallway, my memory. He has to explain this. I want to understand. All right, as long as we're together. the feeling I've been here before. Sorry, we're closed. Olacia! I'm so sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There, there's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to take care of it when you're finished here. No problem. And if you see Wyatt, tell him I'm looking Sorry, for him. Sorry, but only Wyatt All and right. the vessels if can I go see Wyatt, I'll way. tell him. So you tell us that the SI has the address of this salon, and you come anyway. Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here? I came to get Richard. Do you know where I can find him? Probably in the basement packing up, like everyone else. But I guess with your little memory issues, you wouldn't remember where it is. Don't provoke me. Now's not the time. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right. Especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes. A thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the SI much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. Did you destroy the client files? Yes, it's done. Accounting? Uh, yeah. It's all taken care of. I've just got the suppliers and the VIP files left to do. All right. I'm gonna need a badge for the basement, too. Mm, I don't have one, sorry. They could get here at any time. Accounting is done. What are they doing? I've got to move, and they're still not all here. We're not open for customers. We're closed. I'm not here to imbibe. I'm looking for Richard. Have you seen him? Yeah, he gave orders to the staff. And then he went to the rotunda in the back. 
Is there someone named Wyatt here? Yeah, but he's transferring to Kine right now. He shouldn't be long. All right. We shouldn't stay here. Do you have a minute? Just one. I'm looking for Wyatt. What has that degenerate weakling done now? He's gone and gotten us in trouble again, has he? I don't know. Beryl's looking for him. He was here five minutes ago. He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. Do you know where I can find Richard? Dr. Dunham? I've got no idea. He told us the SI was on its way, and gave us orders to clean up as much as we could. I was too shaken up to see where he went. Sorry. Okay. What were you supposed to do? Destroy everything that would give the SI information about us. That's all. Of course. But we don't even know where to start. What are you working on now? Vessels that were stimulated by Dr. Dunham. I'm holding on to them until we solve an issue with the kind. What's the matter? There's a vessel that won't come out. One of our most expensive ones, too. You should go see our manager at the back. She must need help. Okay, okay. I'll go see. What are they doing? I've got to move, and they're still not all here. <coughs> you can't catch me. So, what do we do now? How the hell should I know? We could break down the door to get her out. We don't have the equipment for that. I could ask Dr. Dunham if... No way. We'll figure something out. Hmm. When is Music. Wyatt supposed to be back? To relax the vessels. Now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on such a priceless vessel. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll see what I can do. Roger that. Oh, Leisha. I didn't expect to see you here. Sorry, I don't know you. Oh, that's right. I should have known. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham. Sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never going to be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds. So he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda. Or in his examining room in the basement. You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done. 
why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. Or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. I can sense that you disagree. Well, I'm supposed to deal with her, but I can't even touch her. Because she's worth too much? What does it mean when you say she's a vintage? They're the donors that have the strongest reaction to the Trajax injections. It gives their blood incredible character. A vintage. But when they don't get their dose, they can get out of control. This vessel flipped out and went totally paranoid. I see. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead and clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine. All right. There's a pass in the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. You've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is, is that you, Betty? No, it's Laisha. Get out of here! Listen, you need to get yourself somewhere secure. It's not safe for you here anymore. All you want is my blood! I won't come out! be how they supply the Trajax into the injection room. Richard's grand idea. Injecting substances to simulate the vessel's humors.
pressure's right. Wow, that looks complicated. almost feel like this is a rat hideout here, but it's a discreet entrance. Oh, it's you. I've got a lot of work to do. Please excuse me. Boston Medical Center. Beryl's funneling bodies to them and lining his own pockets then. I'm not sure Hazel would be happy to hear she's losing money like that. I don't have time for this, sorry. He's hiding something. But what? It feels like something's missing. Ugh! I can't even force it! I told you to find Wyatt! We don't have much time! Huh, what could be hiding behind it? Room, huh? Uh, that's of no use to me right now. Richard's injections. He doesn't want the wrong people to find them. There. Now nobody can use it. Mm, better not touch that. she'd calm down. I feel like I'm completely at peace. At last. Yeah, yeah, great. Now go join the others. 
No. Yes, I... You're right. Do you know we almost left without you? But I... No buts. Go join the others on the double. Are you okay, sweetie? I can't find him. I was sure he was here. What are you talking about? Mr. Teddy. He was here. I know it. You were right. Look who I found. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. <laughs> You're welcome, honey. Can you keep him for me? That way I won't lose him. Okay. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll wait here while you do your stuff. Okay, Mom? Yes, be good. All right, your vessel's out. Thanks, I have no idea how you manage that. Wyatt will be able to make his last trip. I've got to go. I have to find Richard now. Wait, a vessel just told me he was spotted heading down to the basement. Okay, thanks. The kind are all accounted for. We can go now. Sorry, but you can't hang around here. The kind are all accounted for. We can go now. And thank you, really and truly, for your help. Happy to help. The kind are all accounted for. We can go now. Inkblot test. This one's a butterfly. Uh, I've been here before. I'm sure of it. Reminds me of clouds.
But Richard says that madness isn't an illness. Remind me of something. Richard must not be far. October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 216 exhibited the first signs of intense resonance increase. Both singlins went from low resonance to a level never before achieved. <laughs> what a flavor. I must admit that even I find it hard to resist. Unfortunately, patient 211 suffered the consequences. I will continue exploring further in this direction. I feel... I am getting closer to the goal. January 27th, 2002, 2240. I thought I was close to a major breakthrough last month. With the promising results from the new types of triple X chemical doses. Unfortunately, it seems I got ahead of myself. It appears that the dose of amphetamines that I gave them was too high. There must have been an error in my calculations. Patients H216, H217, H222, H225, and H226 were lost in the experiment. I must ask Wyatt to find new test subjects. All of this time spent preparing them, wasted. June 17, 2008. <laughs> Beryl and I are going to create a blood bar of a much higher quality than I thought. I will once again be able to focus on my research and oversee the work of the members of the Chantry. Beryl and his mad ideas. Ultimately, the Prince was right. The solution for hunger is in my research. If we manage to stabilize these effects in more inconspicuous containers, we will become invisible to the rest of the world. Security. Apparently the pressure's right. 
Wow, that looks complicated. I don't have time for this, sorry. Huh. What could be hiding behind it? Don't touch that door. Don't you have anything better to do? It feels like something's missing. That's of no use to me right now. Apparently the pressure's right. Stick around here. Sorry, but only Wyatt and the vessels can go out this way. If I were you, I wouldn't stick around. I hope it's just a false alarm. The SI. I hope we're wrong. Yes? Are you in charge of the vessels? Yes and no. I'm just in charge of moving them. Name's Wyatt. Laisha. I know, I know. I'm gonna make a few more trips, but there's still one missing. I think Betty's having a hard time getting her to come out. Where are you taking them? I'm getting them to safety. Some of them are worth tons. Okay, but before you leave, Beryl wants to see you. What? No way! Go see Beryl. Right now. I... can't. I said, said go shoot I've got... orders. I can't. I've got orders. He gave me an order. Who did? The doctor. Dunham gave me an order. I have to get the kind to safety. You saw Richard? Do you know where I can find him? In his office, downstairs. He might have left. Orders. I've already got orders. Shit. I won't get anything else out of him. Richard already forced his mind.
apparently the pressure's right. I get that you're busy, but... But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Wyatt isn't coming to help. A thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. Wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here now. What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the council. What I do is no business of yours. This is Richard's Red Salon. Anything that could get us in trouble is my business. Your dear Richard, you're always protecting him over and over. Yes, that's just how we Malkavians are. How touching. Completely incomprehensible, but touching nonetheless. I already told you, I'll find a solution. I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? It must be something serious. I can sense your fear, Beryl. Wyatt flakes out on me with the SI hot on our heels, having to cover our tracks. Of course I'm a bit perturbed. So then why don't you want to tell me anything? I'm thinking it over. Now's not the time to turn down a helping hand. If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. Well, if you're honest, I'll give you that. But I still think it's a bad idea. You're not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. If I let you help me, it could make matters worse. So stay out of it. Do you understand? And our prince? What about the prince? So if I understand correctly, she shouldn't be involved in this either? You're getting bolder, I see. 
Because as a member of her council, I'm guessing she'd be interested. Bravo! One point for Laisha. Fine. I give up. Ah, I'll never manage to clean it all up myself. So you're saying you... No, there's no time for that. I accept your offer to help, but that doesn't mean I trust you. We'll see about that once you've gotten rid of... Just destroy it. Destroy what? You'll see. Reduced to this, you'll pay. You'll pay for what you did to us. As long as I exist, you'll remain powerless. Reduced to this. Staring at the ceiling of this basement. There's no way I'll help you if I don't know who it is. Damn it. I'm not going to let myself take the fall for others' mistakes. What do you mean? It's Quentin King, that's who. Our former prince? But how? Oh, so eager to replace Wyatt. You got what you wanted, didn't you? Get rid of him if you want to know more. Is it done? Did you take care of it? There. It's done. Are you sure? I don't really see how he could recover from that. I imagine some sort of thank you is in order, but... I'm guessing that's not your strong suit. No, it's not. But how did our former prince end up here? And in that state? Now that you're part of this, I don't see why I shouldn't tell you the truth. Hilda had Quentin brought here. Why? I don't ask questions. I just know that she kept him in that state. She drops by regularly to shorten his limbs. And they say I'm sick. Why are there so many bodies stored here? Well, we've got to do something with them when they're empty. Like get rid of them? Yes, and I take care of that myself. Including pocketing the profits of their sale behind the prince's back? <laughs> You're a quick learner. Happy? Has the Hartford Chantry had an office here for long? Long is a relative concept. Especially with your memory. 
What are they doing here? Research on how to stabilize the enhanced blood developed by Richard. Oh, yeah. That's part of Hazel's agreement. Bravo! You figured it all out. Do you know where I can find Richard? I just realized that no matter what I say... You'll keep asking me that every two minutes. Is it a disease or something? No, but... I, I don't know. You said something about compromising information on us here. Yes, anything with addresses, for example. The SI could trace them back to Hartford or our clients. Obviously. The Trajacks, too. They can't get to our suppliers. Wow. There's a lot of work to be done. What an asshole. I destroyed a kindred. Deneb Osborne, Boston, Jefferson Library. That's for the Hartford Warlocks, then. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses. Sylvia Ortiz, Boston, 1 Nashua Street. We supply the prints, too, obviously. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses. Wyatt. No address. Surprising. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses. There we go. It feels like something's missing. That's all right. I have... That's of no use to me right now. Richard is no longer in the test tube phase, it would seem.
Wait. What the? Wait! Come back! wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you! I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. Are you sure? If that's true, then tell me. Who are you looking for? I... no, it's not. Say it. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's good. That's the only honest answer you can give. You don't have any idea what's going on. Because you've forgotten who you are. But you can get it back. Concentrate. You're like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please, give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? Yes? Uh, I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? Uh, I, I don't understand. He's my sire. Wrong. What? You're lying. I can't lie. Richard isn't your sire and you know it. No! I have one last question for you. You can take your time with this one. Who is Halsey? I'm afraid I might be wrong. I, I found a file on one of Richard's patients. She was Juliet, wasn't she? That's right. You remembered. That's good. Our name was Marie. We were born in 1911 in France. Do you remember? Our parents worked at an explosives factory. That's right. Since they were too poor to pay someone to watch me, they put me in a locker during their shift. There was an accident. It took both their lives. It took them ten days to find me in the rubble. We stopped talking after that. They took me to the asylum. Yes. That's where we first met Richard. He was the night psychiatrist. I thought we'd never get out of there. They kept us locked up for ten years. 
<laughs> Do you remember his look when we found out we were pregnant with Juliet? <laughs> I named her Juliet after her grandmother. It's a lot prettier than Halsey. I never understood why Richard called her that in her file. I wonder if he knew who the father was. We were forced to flee. Yes, in 39, when the war broke out in France. Do you remember? The Nazis came for psychiatric patients too. We, we found a ship that could take us to Boston. But Juliet caught typhus on the way over. That was all we could think about. Richard couldn't do anything for us. He had to embrace her in order to save her. He thought it would calm us down. No, that's not true. But Juliet's hunger was overpowering. When we went to soothe her, she drained us of our blood. I was on death's door. Richard didn't want to lose us. He slit Juliet's wrist so we could drink. He saved my life. No, Marie. We died that night. And we became the child of our dead daughter. He said he wanted to help me. He uses us as a guinea pig for all of his experiments. When it goes wrong, he wipes our memory and makes us forget everything. We slumber for a few years and then reappear court, as if nothing happened. I trusted him. He's always used us, but now you know it. Again, come on. Let's go save Juliet. I'm sure to be detected. I need to change my appearance. Damn it! What the hell was that? Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters too! Listen to me, damn it! She just saved all our asses. She blew herself up to protect us. Yeah, but... Calm. It's Richard. Halsey. Where are they taking her? What the fuck is that? Steam. The pressure That's steam leak. The explosion. Maybe that could help. That's fucking hot! Be careful without your helmet on. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's alright. It's not. I need to go to the loading dock. We have to assess whether this structure will hold after the explosion. Oh well. Alright, but we still have a process to follow. I need to record you leaving the area. Not just yet. I don't think I'm done here. Do as you like. I'll have to get by. Even without this implant.
come with me over there? Of course. this time shoot I think I forgot one last thing seriously you want to go through this time yeah here Delson wasn't wrong. No, how to find Stanford? There's something flashing under their skin.
I've never seen a machine like that. discreet. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. An implant? It must have taken that from a corpse. This implant could be useful. That's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. It's a perfect fit. See how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant, but it's blinking. That's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. That doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. it. Hmm, disappointing. They haven't been used for years. A vaccination campaign from 1988. There must have been more traffic here back then. They don't appear to use this area. How strange. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. They don't appear to use this area. Hey! Who 
are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. Is there a problem with them? Let's just say I thought we had tough standards, but the Society of St. Leopold has proven me wrong. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. My question isn't about the protocol, but what you can do to help a colleague in need. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course. Scalpel. Their equipment is in perfect condition. Where did I put that file? Here are the implants. There's no more room in the morgue. I hope we'll be done here soon. I hate Boston. Lower your weapon and let me through. On 
on your knees, I said! Now! He resisted. How? When Stanford learns that his colleague was held up, he'll want to know who was responsible for it. There will be consequences to pay. Stanford! Scan your implant. Are we all right? Yeah. Next time, let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. What? me again. I can't get into anything. I'm telling you, the database is locked. If I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. Sorry, I don't see what else I can do to help you. I'd ask Stanford himself. But he's not on this floor. The archives? You think so? Maybe. I'll take a look. Well, if I could open the door... That should work. Come on, monster! <laughs> this appears to be from the last century. It'll open in a minute. I hope. A blast door. This base must have been used during the Cold War. Move along. Usually, this kind of machine is reliable. Three members of the Society of St. Leopold are in charge on this floor. Faveron, Mana, and Gallagher. An implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Please, 
Jones. The door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. Uh, I'll wait. It can take a while. That should work. I'm getting tired. Oh. That changed the number that's displayed. That should work. There we go. Finally. I hope I find something in the archives, but I doubt I will. military base, left over from the Cold War, most likely. Don't you have anything better to do? Hurry up, Henry. What part of I need those results wasn't clear. <laughs> A child would understand. Why can't you? Human blood. I thought they only studied us. Notes on cell renewal. It would appear they are attempting to use our regenerative abilities on humans. They'll never be able to do it. I work better under pressure.
Ugh, tell me you weren't there for Favarone's meltdown. I only caught the end. Great. She yells at me in front of everyone now. It's her way of motivating the troops. There are less painful techniques. I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to double as her personal assistant. I'm in the middle of a promising procedure, but I keep getting interrupted. No matter. I'd better stop complaining. It can't be easy for a professional like you to have someone poking sticks in your spokes. It's hard to complain because she's very efficient. And she's not just anyone in the Society of St. Leopold. She adapted very quickly here. Got the attention of the higher-ups. So, I deal with it. For the cause. Henry, if you don't want to be the next body under my scalpel, I need those lab results by tomorrow. Can you open the door to the cold storage? I'm afraid not. Dr. Favarone has the security pass. She doesn't give it to just anyone. I'll be going now. Back to work. He doesn't look too good. side of hostility, even towards me, slow breathing, he's dying. Higher clearance required. Hmm, doesn't seem to work. So much hostility, this kindred must have suffered. Maybe the one that I need. The epidermis is already breaking down. I've been working on this for way too long. This locker belongs to Professor Henry. Doesn't seem to work. Working here. That's a lot of blood. What are they doing here? That looks like an elevator panel. Higher clearance required. No, that doesn't work. When you're done with that, get started on clearing the last tank. Very well. What? What do you want? 
My time is precious, and I've got a boss breathing down my neck. So if you have no business here, either leave, or I'll call your friends to drag you out of here. Shut up and listen to me. I'm not here to play games. Nobody has time to waste here. Neither you nor I. Excuse me. I'm really under pressure right now. problem with the tanks? You know about that? Yeah, that, and everything else. There aren't enough of us to keep it all running and keep up the pace. Well, I'll be getting back to work now. Your shoulder. Are you hurt? What? Oh, that. No. It's blood, but it's not mine. When you spend your days dissolving bodies, you're bound to get splashed. I'll be on my way now. I don't understand. There's a space for a valve there. solution. Valve. This isn't for a large pipe. She has a red implant that could help me find Stanford. required before opening. It appears as if acid has eaten through this cable. That needs to go right to the control panel. It's a perfect fit. There's a space for a valve there. I'm 
exhausted. Decontamination complete. Finally, the cleanup's going to start. We don't have all night. Decontamination complete. Decontamination complete. None too soon. Tank number one has been cleaned. Rahim, can you please set up the next test for me when you have time? I'll take care of it as soon as I'm done with this. I'll open the door for you. Acids, thermite, liquid nitrogen, nice collection. Yes, of course. Clearance required. That must not be the right one. Hyralysis protocol. complete. Nothing. It appears the power is out. No experiment in progress. Pyrolysis locked. Look about the Society of St. Leopold. Burned to a crisp. I won't get anything out of it, unfortunately. It doesn't look damaged. I have a red implant. Will it allow me to see Stanford's location? just came down. All right. 
concentrate? Notes on a cell renewal. This locker belongs to Professor Henry. Easy. Don't have anything better to do? In case you were wondering, this isn't dinner and a show. Get back to work. A surgical steel table that's been carefully put away. Everything is ready for an operation. These gloves are made from thin plastic. It would be easy to tear them. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up! A surgical steel table that's been carefully put away. Everything is ready for an operation.
it won't open. I never thought I'd be handling a cerebellum. There's nothing to be done. It's locked. Jara, I didn't approve of your methods, but you were always an effective spy. They managed to get you, too. What a waste. Contamination complete. I still don't see what I asked for on my table. It sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? Oh. Ah! Those are ideal to avoid contaminating the experiment environment.
I don't understand. Implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. on human subjects in Asia, 1932 to 1945. Hmm, wholesome reading. Looks like a weapon that has been taken apart, most likely a prototype. should help.
There's a red implant. It might be the one I'm looking for. Hmm. There must be a way to get him out of here. Excuse me. If you're looking for a little light reading, this is not the place. I'm looking for something a little different. Can I help you? The person in charge here. If I needed to talk to him, how would I go about doing it? It's not easy. In general, Father Joseph doesn't leave the conservation area until he has finished his work. If he's restoring something, it can take a long time. He locks himself in with everything he needs, food and drink, and we don't see him again until he's done. What happens if there's an emergency? Look around you and ask yourself, what kind of emergency could there ever be in a museum or library? So he doesn't come out? That doesn't mean he can't be reached. He approves every request to borrow a book from the conservation area through a computer system. So, if I request a book, he'll come and hand deliver it to me? No, it's automatic. He'll just approve the request. His work is very important. We do everything we can not to interrupt him. I'd rather you not disturb him. My job is far more important than dusting off some musty old books. I just need to talk to him, and he's impossible to reach. There's not much I can do for you. As long as he's working on his book, he won't answer. What's he working on? I have no idea. He's working his way through his list. Yesterday, I heard him say that he finished the authors starting with R. He was very happy about it. I see that we have collected a lot of things. Yes, and it can be complicated to find your way around. What are you working on? I'm researching interrogation methods. I understand. It's not at all my specialty, but I recommend that you look at the works from the Middle Ages. The Spanish Inquisition was particularly effective in extracting confessions from heretics and other things. Thanks for the advice. I don't know what they can feel, but I remember reading something about a retractor used on a particularly sensitive part of the body. I'll be going now. These diamonds are nothing compared to the ones I used to sell. It was long ago. This emblem has been severely burned. that belong to former hunters. What do they hope to get out of them? Yes? I'll be going now. static control panel. It controls the temperature, humidity, but it's locked. 
It's unlocked. Excuse me, I... I warned you, didn't I? Maybe you'll listen to me next time. Need some coffee. There's nothing quite like the scent of old paper. I am this close to giving up. Sure have changed. I'm getting tired. Oh.
This is a waste of my time. Temperature, humidity, that can't be good for the books. What? Oh my god! No, 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 no! Ah, thus Cain went to Amor. Excuse me. My conviction might not be as strong as it used to, but I can still sense your true nature. My stomach is a knot. I'm not wrong, am I? And you aren't crying out for help. Should I? We could just have a conversation. Quietly. Why? I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. To meet a kindred face to face. Who knows, maybe you'll also learn something from the exchange. I am Father Joseph Manor. You can call me Galeb. Galeb? Very well. That's a much better start to our conversation. Or an exchange of best practices. I consider myself an interpreter of the great book of your existence. And you are a fascinating subject. Just what exactly am I to you? A variety of guinea pig? Have you heard of Raphael Renzi? The name doesn't ring a bell. I'm not surprised, actually. He was an inquisitor who had qualms and thought that vampires could find salvation. He was burned at the pyre. As were many others. But Renzi's ideas were handed down over the centuries. The church may have issued the Florentine decree, but the questions he raised at the time still have gone unanswered. An inquisitor with remorse? Something like that. You might be exactly what I'm looking for here. We could work together, but you're siding with the barbarians. A scholar like you has no place here. You're mistaken about us. Our common interest is to understand you. Then you must be blind. What makes you say that? Don't take me for a fool. I've seen what your colleagues do here. One dissects us like animals. The other is testing weapons. Your definition of understanding baffles me. Indeed, my colleagues don't all share my point of view. Admit that we can't just stand by and do nothing. Vampires are a threat. Why should I help you? Just think of all that we could do together. A mutually beneficial partnership would be ideal for a researcher such as yourself. Indeed. An unprecedented alliance. The offer is tempting, I admit. You must understand my hesitation. If you were in my shoes, would you trust yourself? You're not a sheep. That's obvious, but that doesn't mean you'd help your enemies. You made your decision when you chose not to call security. There's no reason to hesitate now. You don't understand the predicament in which I find myself. It seems so simple when you say it. But if evil is among us, it will be difficult to defeat, like the snake in the Garden of Eden. So, I'll cut off its head. You mean to kill Monsignor Stanford? You're mad. That's not the solution.
Stanford is far from innocent. He defiles your beliefs. It's true that we are often in disagreement. Then it's time to take action. You... You're right. I've been blinded for far too long. I don't know where Stanford is, but you can look. Chiara Favaron, in the clinic. She's the only person who has access to that on the main computer. Very well, then. But please, no unnecessary violence. Leave, now, before someone finds us together. Not so fast. I'm counting on your discretion. And I am counting on yours. He won't betray me. And who knows, maybe I'll run into him again. Is that it? Welcome, Counselor Favaron. Very well. Let's see what I have access to now. Wonderful. I can access the database. Stanford. Based on the GPS data, he's not far off. But below me, there's something flashing here. What did I unlock? A draft by Chiara Favaron. Monsignor. I am very honored by your offer to take over from you, but I am afraid I must decline. Our strategy is flawed. I've already told you that, and I wouldn't want to do any dishonor to your legacy here. <sighs> Chiara Favaron. End of dictation. Interesting. But I'm here for Stanford. It's now or never. There he is! Take him downstairs. Today is September 6, 2019. This is confession number six, conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. I must endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Suleiman. <clears throat> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. 
Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I won't tell you a thing. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray. If you still can, dominate our ah! oh! 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 Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you manage to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You'll never make me talk. This could all be so much more pleasant. It's my fault. I must not have made myself clear enough. I take no pleasure in any of this. You're going to need to be more reasonable now. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? We don't have any place like that anymore. Do you take me for an idiot? You leave me no choice. I'm going to have to purify you. see how long you last. I don't think you understand. Again! Street. A nice location, which could match some of our intel. I'm intimately acquainted with Boston, you see. I was born here. That's why it's so important to me that we clean it up. We'll verify this information quickly. Very quickly. I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Galen.
Lewis, over here. Hey, Saul. Took you long enough. Thanks for getting back to me. I wasn't sure you'd kept the pager. You owe me one. So, is it true? Are they really here? Yes. Ugh. I warned Thane like you asked me to. He's waiting for you. What kind of mood is he in? Worried, suspicious. Expect to be put through the grinder. We'll see about that. Any advice? Depends on what you want with him. Just don't forget that you're not welcome here. Thanks, Saul. I feel much better now. Is anyone with him? Yeah, the gang leaders. He sent for them before you came. Why did he do that? Why do you think? He's defending his territory. I want to see him. Wait for me here. Randall! Okay, you can go in. Mr. Thane, thank you for agreeing to see me. Saul told me about the SI. I got the message. Iverson didn't need to send one of her lackeys after me. That's not why Hazel sent me. Then why are you here? To... ask for your help. The SI in Boston. Nobody saw it coming, and it's a real threat. But Hazel has a plan to get us out of this mess. Us? Since when is there an us? The princess got her back up against the wall. She's willing to make a few concessions in order to get us out of this. Like negotiating with you, for example. She's completely overwhelmed, you mean? That's one take on things. Keep going. We managed to pick up their trail from International Place. We know where they're hiding. They've got a base here? Yeah, on Long Island. They're more prepared than we thought. <laughs> Underestimating adversaries is your defining trait. It's worse than anything we could have imagined. When you take into consideration what happened in Vienna? In London? Not many survived. It's gonna be a bloodbath for sure. But Hazel's the only one who can still keep that from happening. As arrogant as ever. At least she's got ideas. Not everyone can say the same. So what's her brilliant plan? She wants us to cover our tracks. Destroy everything they've got on us to buy us some time. How? By sending someone over there to damage their system. Me, actually. And you agreed. Let's just say it was an opportunity I couldn't refuse. Oh, the Camarilla. <laughs> you are in it deeper than deep. I don't see how your little operation concerns us. I need a diversion. Something big. An assault. You want to use us. I want your help. The court will be there too. Think about it. A joint attack tonight. Just long enough to wipe everything they've got on us. No, it's out of the question. Sir. We didn't leave the cam to better serve the prince. Let Iverson play her own hand. If she wants to throw herself on the pyre, that's her problem. Ceres, tell everyone to come back. We're bringing in the patrols. Okay. Forget Hazel. I'm the one who needs your help. I won't be able to pull this off without you. You chose the wrong side. There's nothing I can do for you. I already gave you my answer. You're free to rethink the choices you've made. And you're free to leave. You're making a huge mistake. God damn it. I warned you. I can't just leave like that. We've got to be able to make him change his mind. 
I've already done my part. Saul, please. You can't give up on me now. <sighs> Damn it, Lewis. Does that mean yes? <sighs> there might be a way. You're gonna have to hustle. Randall called the gang leaders here for reassurance. But they could be useful to you if you manage to convince them. Do you think Bane will change his mind? Uh, there's strength in numbers. You're the head of a coterie, too. They know you. If you talk to them... And then what? I've already risked my neck for you. I get it. Are you sure that could work? Thane's gonna be pissed. That's the risk. Take it or leave it. It's up to you. All right. Let's say for a second I want to try. Who are they? Ceres and Ratha. She's in charge of the Domain's militia. He heads up a group of hackers. You'll find them inside. If I manage to pull this off, are you with me? That's my condition. I can't go up against Randall alone. It'd be too risky. Thanks. I owe you one. You already do. I'm sentencing her to final death. Damn it. Far cry from the glitz and glamour of the court. They really got a good setup here. Yeah? Must be the Baron's office. are getting restless. Well, things have sure changed around here since last time. Thane's made himself at home. Seems like the Baron is becoming more influential. Wait a few years, and he'll build himself a throne. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk to you. Sorry. What the hell are you still doing here? I was told I could stay. Who told you that? Does they know? I wouldn't be here if he didn't. It's not like him to fraternize with the enemy. Are you challenging his decision? No. What do you want? You might be able to help me. I'm looking for your leader. Do you know where he is? What do I look like? His sire? Find him yourself. 
I bet you know everyone around here. Including Ceres. What can you tell me about her? Go talk to Mr. Asshat. He'll know more than me. Who? Ceres is second. <laughs> Yardley. You'll find him near the train car. I'm out of here. Hmm. <laughs> Best news I've heard all night. Sorry. I don't really want to talk right now. Especially not with the chick from the camp. Are you sure you're alright? No. I don't want to talk about it. It's personal. I came to help. And I could help you, too. I'm a good listener. You can tell me anything. No, I don't know you. Suit yourself. All right. I'll be going now. Yeah. Bad timing. I'm not in the mood. Is your machine acting up? My computer's fine. It's the network that's on the prints. <sighs> what a shithole. That Sarah seems to be pretty powerful. bar is set pretty high for me. I can't make a single mistake. Every leader faces the same fate. I'm no leader. You just told me otherwise. Saul told us about you. She trusts you. As long as she does, you're welcome here. That's nice, but I'm not planning on sticking around here long. I belong to the court. Is that really what you want? You caught me off guard. I have no idea. I've never really asked myself that. But I'm asking you now. Well, then... I don't know. You should think about it. Thanks for answering. He's nuts. Now's not the time. Should have left two hours ago. What are we waiting for? for nice bikes. I'd love to take one out for a spin. All alone on the open road, driving from city to city. With no responsibilities, no prints. Mm. Another hour or two. Until then, stay cool. Saris and her bunch are on edge tonight. I don't want any trouble. Got it? Yeah. Ah, 
still in one piece. I'm impressed. Your friends might hate me, but they're afraid of Hazel. They wouldn't dare touch a hair on my head. It's not just Hazel. Everyone knows the Black Rattler's Rose. So, what do you think? Must be a hell of a change from all those tight asses at court, huh? Honestly, I have no idea. I thought I knew you, but it turns out I've just been scratching the surface. Welcome to the jungle, sis. You know, your message earlier. Uh, at the time, I really thought you wanted to take the plunge. Thought that you were going to join us. <laughs> Got your hopes up. I'm a little disappointed. I think you have your place here. You should think about it. Not tonight. I know. But if you have any questions, let me know. I want to go see Saris, but I need to know more about her before I go. What do you want to know? What's she like? You're gonna get a real workout. I've never met anybody as stubborn as her. She's loyal, I'll say that for her. What about her relationship with the camp? Mm, non-existent, like the rest of us. Don't expect her to roll out the welcome mat. I figured. She seems to be pretty important around here. She's Randall's right hand. She manages security in his domain. She and her guys are the only ones who are allowed to bunk up here. Where do you go home? I forget. Dorchester. Each gang has its own hideout. We don't get together often. How do I convince her to join me? Knowing her, you're gonna need to stick to the cold hard facts. She's a practical person, a no-nonsense type. You won't get anywhere making puppy eyes. You underestimate me. I've got everything I need. Thanks. I need to know more about Rafa. Can you help me out? Mm, not really. Sorry, he keeps a low profile. You must know something. Nothing you don't know already. He's a hacker. He's the head of a group of hackers. That's pretty much it. That's nothing. I warned you. His henchmen would be able to tell you more than me. I'm leaving. I'm counting on you, Lewis. If it isn't Mother Soul's little favorite. Uh, what was your name again? M.M. That's right, the chick with the clubs. Everyone's got their eye on you tonight. Better watch your step. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the advice. I heard you got some kind of plan to get us out of this mess. Yeah, something like that. Saul's taking some big risks for you. If it doesn't work... It'll work. We'll see about that. Stay away from the bites. The guys are a little jumpy right now. Hmm... Who knows where these tunnels could lead?
Wow. I wasn't expecting that. What are they hoping to spy on? A wall? Interesting. Caius has got himself some competition. These guys are pros. It looks like a lock. to hide this place. That's an old one. Maybe I can reset it. Thank <laughs> you. 
should have known. I'd heard that the prince's bitch was sniffing around here. How did you get in? Through the front door. How banal. I'll come up with something better next time. You must be M. Lewis. Tell me, why shouldn't I just put an end to you right now? If you destroy me, you'll never know what brought me here. I know why. You want my head. So I might as well cut yours off first. You're... No. That's ridiculous. I'm just here about the Alliance. What? Saul told me I should come see you. She thinks you could help us. Don't tell me she agrees with your shitty plan. How do you... I got a detailed report about your little crisis meeting. Thane was right to refuse to cooperate. It would be a huge mistake. It will be if you don't help us. We're not allies. Never have been, never will be. So why should we risk our asses to save yours? You do realize that this problem isn't just about the cam. We've learned to make ourselves scarce. Scarce? You're hiding out on a fucking barge. How long do you think it will take before they come for you? We'll be gone before that can happen. Where? They'll hunt you down like they did in London. I'm sorry, but we're all in this together. Like it or not. Maybe. Anyways, the old bat is wrong. London? Vienna? We've seen what they can do. You're no match for them. You don't stand a chance. It's going to be tough for sure. But it's not impossible if we unite our forces. I know that we're complete opposites. But it's just for tonight. With you. The humans won't stand a chance. A lot of times there's a gap between the stats and reality, Lewis. Especially since we have no idea how many of them there really are. We're kindred, damn it. Just one of us is worth five of theirs. We'll crush them. One to five. It could work. Listen, even if you're right, even if all of that were true, I couldn't help you. I can't. Why not? What's stopping you? You wouldn't understand. Explain. You should know, since you went through my cabin. Is it about the SI? No. Hmm. I must not have searched thoroughly enough then. Too bad. My existence is at stake, Lewis. And I'm not going to sacrifice myself for your alliance. where you're coming from, but I swear nothing will happen to you. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you. You don't have that kind of power. I'm a member of the Primogen Council. At least I will be soon. I can protect you. Really? A member of the Council? I don't know. I'd be hanging all my hopes on you. It's either that or final death will come knocking in a matter of days. You have to trust me, Rafa. Mm. All right. I got your message. You can count on me to try to clean up your prince's mess. Thanks, Rafa. I'm not doing it for you. I know. But thanks anyways. We've got to get ready. I'll give the others a heads up and tell them to let you in. Great. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into, Louis. We won't forget you. I've got to get ready. I'll meet up with you later. But that's the last time you break in here. Got it? Got it. I did it! Rafa is with me. And I haven't seen Sarah's yet. I might still have one last shot.
It looks like a storage room. It's practical, if not clean. I found him drooling over my vessels. It's unacceptable. Do you really think now is the time for this? They're only here for a few hours, damn it. Relax. No. Either you tell Saul to call off her dogs, or I'll do it. Oh, now you're the one giving me orders. I forbid you to go anywhere near her. Do I make myself clear? That's an order. Dumb bitch. Excuse me. I don't have anything to say to you. What an asshole. Good. Again. One, two, one, two. Control your beast, Envy. One, two, one, two. Saris, I need to talk to you. Randall told you to leave. He didn't say when. Oh, you think you're clever. What do you want? We have to talk about the SI. There's nothing more to be said. Randall was perfectly clear. He's making a mistake. The whole city's in danger. Don't waste your breath. I don't listen to the court's underlings. Now get out of here. Saris, just hear me out. Get out. God damn it. If I want them to back me, I need to find a solution. Hey. I see what you're trying to do. Is that a threat? You're way off. I'm on your side. I want to help. Why would you take that risk? Well, because our survival depends on it. This isn't the first time Cirrus has put us in danger. And what do you suggest? An exchange of mutual benefit. Do you know why Cirrus disagrees with your plan? Out of loyalty, I guess. No, that's part of it, for sure, but that's not all. It's because of the Crimson Oaks. I've heard of them. I remember those guys. Hazel hated them. There was a time she fought with them. I thought they disappeared. Their leaders fled after the fall of London. Most of them followed, but others stayed behind and went underground. I see, but what's the connection with Ceres? <laughs> She works for them, and she seems to be pretty attached to their agreement. And you're not? Hell no. I was there when those bastards were running around terrorizing everyone. Fuck them. If Sarah's works for them, that would explain why she won't help Hazel. Yeah, but I got a plan for that. It won't be pretty. But it'll be good for the both of us. You in? I need more details. Uh-uh. Not till you agree. So, are you with me or not? I'm with you. Alright. Then listen carefully. I've got dirt on Sirius. Bank accounts. The kind of stuff that's shady enough to get her kicked out of the Coterie for good. I'm sorry. I don't get it. Ceres is embezzling? Oh yeah, that's what the files say. Is it really true? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. All that matters is getting rid of her. If Ceres is out, then I'll replace her, and I'll help you. 
I doubt a couple pieces of paper will be enough to push her out the door. Yeah? Well, think again. We don't have the same resources you do. So, if we were to find out, she's been helping herself to the little we have. How long have you been sitting on these papers? I've been preparing all of this for a couple of months. I was just waiting for the right time to make my move. You're using me. I'm friggin' trying to help you. What are you planning to do with your little papers? You can't just whip them out like that. Somebody's gotta find them. And for that to happen, I need you to help me plant them somewhere. Where? In Ceres's personal safe. It's in a secure room. You'll need this pass to get in. Great. Is there a code? For the safe, I mean. It's not a code. It's a card. Here. You'll find it upstairs. Any questions? Just to be sure. Could you go over all that again? Yeah, all right. I gave you the files. You have to plant them in Ceres's safe. It's in the safe room, upstairs. Got it? Got it. Why don't you do it yourself? We'd save time. I can't. Too risky. I could get caught. What would you have done if I hadn't come along? I would have found another solution. <laughs> another sucker. Call it whatever you want to call it. On second thought, I could go see Saris and tell her everything. Oh, and you think she'd believe you? I've got proof. <laughs> That'd be risky. You'd lose the only ally you've ever had. Good point. I think that's about it. In that case, I'll arrange to get you access to upstairs. Here, take the files. Come back when you got some news. I'm counting on you. I don't think I have any other choice. I wonder what else he's hiding. It's open. Thanks, Yardley. Now, I have to find the safe. No baseball bats or junkies looking to score. It's like you're someplace else. Hey, this floor is off limits. What the hell are you doing here? Get out of here! It'll only take me a sec. Wait a second. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? I should have known. What? You don't recognize me. I spend all my time out on patrol. You're not the first. It's no big deal. Oh. I see. I was in your shoes for a while. I get it. It's not always easy, is it? No, you're right. Did you want something? I'm just passing through. I was told to go get something from the safe. All right. But hurry up. not the time. Always start by making a cross on one of the sides. The rest will follow. Here we are, the vault.
it's done. I hope I won't regret it. Weapons. How basic. You're the one behind these collages. Some of them, yeah. You're the chick from the cam, right? Amen. I heard some guys talking about you. You don't seem to have a lot of fans around here. I represent everything they despise. It's natural for them not to trust me. I don't blame them. You should watch out. Not everyone is as forgiving as you are. Oh, because you are? I don't have anything against you. We're all just trying to survive, right? Even if I'd rather see your prints burn to a crisp in broad daylight. There are a lot of you who feel the same way. And not just here. Answer me honestly. Are you here because you believe in her? Or because you were forced to come? The cam's never done anything for me. But she's the prince. So you just shut up and take it. That's one way to look at it. Things won't ever change if people like you don't have the courage to say enough. There's nothing in it for me. Your freedom. That's one point of view. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, if you'll excuse me. As you please. About that job you gave me. Yes? It's done. I planted the documents. Really? Ah, I knew I could count on you. What do we do now? We try to buy ourselves some time. I need to tell the others about our little discovery. In the meantime, you need to keep Saris in her office. How am I supposed to do that? Go talk to her. Make up some dumb excuse. Anything. We'll meet up with you when we're ready. And then? I have a hard time imagining her accepting. That's my problem. Now get out of here. We don't have a second to waste. Look who's back. I know you missed me. Actually, I was wondering, do you ever, um, recruit? What? You want to join us? I know a girl who might be thinking about it. She feels a little out of place in the court. Like she doesn't fit in. And then there's her ex. <laughs> a girl. Tell your friend we don't recruit. We take in newcomers. There's a difference. Does she know what desertion entails? I guess so. Guessing won't be good enough. This isn't some game. It's a leap into the unknown. She could... Yardley, what are you doing? <laughs> Thanks, M.M. I'll take it from here. Can I count on you? Oh, yeah. I'll catch up to you later. 
Now go. Is there a problem? I was able to talk to Rafa. And? He was suspicious at first, but he came to understand the severity of the situation. He's agreed to help us. Well done. Rafa's a little rough around the edges, but he's a good leader. You did the right thing. Were you able to bring up our plans to Cirrus? Yeah, and suffice it to say, it did not go well. But I found an alternative. Oh yeah? Cirrus's men are with us. Yardley promised. Yardley? Not Cirrus? He's in charge of her group now. What the hell did you do? I found a solution. Holy fuck, Emin, you... Shit! Randall's not gonna like that. There's only one way to find out. Yeah. Ready? All right. I'm right behind you. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. Sarah's... We'll see. What the... Yardley! What have you done? Oh, there was a slight mishap. Thane was more stubborn than expected. Did you know about this? Of course not. I wanted to talk to him, not off him. You'll get over it. You have no idea what you've done, you idiot! Please, calm down. There's no time left. We have to go. But Randall and deal with that there. Rafa's waiting for us. We've got to go. This isn't over. Not sorry to be back in peace. The unit that came back earlier told us there were casualties. Cassie. That's right, soldier. She did what had to be done to protect us all. Here. Anything to report while we were gone? The kid you brought back is already causing trouble. Oh, see. Oh, they lay one finger on her. We had to increase security. You have to give your full name now. You can't just use your badge. Seriously? Another new procedure? Davis knows you, Captain. He'll let you in, no problem. Thank you, soldier. I'll be in the break room if anyone's looking for me. I want to be here if my men need me. All right, Captain. Security protocol, soldier. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is... Shit. I need a credible name. I need to get inside. Then I'll take time to finish up here. That'll be easier. Suit yourself. Hang in there, sweetie. Mommy's coming. 
These meatbags are going to pay for dragging you back here. There are a lot of them. It won't be hard to blend in. Another one. Keep your eyes open. You are the captain. Cream yeah, for bruises. gotta be ready for Pain anything. Killers. Yes, soldier? Were we able to bring anything of value back from this mission, Captain? Not really. No usable chemical samples. Everything was corrupted. Not a single human witness. They were all gone. They were expecting us, that's for sure. We're gonna look like amateurs. Uh, the little girl we found? That's no kid. Do you know what they did with her, Captain? Agent Olsen must have taken her down to one of the labs. What will he do to her? No idea. But there's a reason he's Stanford's right-hand man. He's obsessed by the infected and won't pass up a chance to study them. Uh, I see. Sorry to bother you. No worries. the entire area to ensure it's safe. What's in all these containers? Not all the evidence they gathered about us. I hope. Can I help you? I heard you talking earlier about the little girl we brought back. That's not a little girl anymore. She's been infected. Yeah, yeah. Was there a problem? Must have been, because the security protocol changed. But nobody really knows what happened. What did they do with her? No idea. The SAD agents and St. Leopold guys are in charge of it. Oh. I didn't know that. You're going to forget all the moments in your sad... Pitiful life where you felt loved. But I. I. You have no memory that you ever felt love at any point in your life. Nobody loves you. Everyone hates you. Despise you. They mock you. <laughs> You've never loved yourself. I. It's. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's horrible. And now it's your life. There's no time for chit chat, soldier. These things can be dangerous. Since there's nobody to help me, I need to get a move on. Hello. Hey, how can I help you? Never been attached to anything or anyone. 
you're not interested in anything. Not things, not people. Everything tastes like ashes and asphalt. Everything is gray and flavorless. You're incapable of caring about others, or even caring about yourself. It's like death. Yes, but you're alive. And for a long time, I hope. Everything is empty. It's meaningless. Anything suspicious must be neutralized. We've got orders. Nothing to report in the storage area. Save for the roof. We can start a new round. The first cargo transport. The stockage area is full. I couldn't do better with all these crates. Oh, personal belongings. Oh, what a mess. If I see anything, I'll call you. You're not authorized to handle that. Nothing to report here. Okay, great. We have to be ready, just in case. Yes. Go scan the horizon to the north. I'm going. Good riddance.
everyone's full identity, so we don't have to keep repeating ourselves. Sorry. I need to be available for my unit. security protocol for the entire base. We have to record everyone who goes into or comes out of the building. Please give us your full ID, first and last name, so I can verify your information. Your name is... Watson, Natalie. Great. Everything is in order. You can go in. Hurry up. There's no time to waste. Oh, 
Halsey. You shouldn't be here. hoping for more. The officers had to go deal with some crisis. They left us to deal with this mess. Have you seen the girl they brought back come through? Yeah, I saw them go by. They took her container down ten minutes after they got here. Uh, down where? No idea. I'm just in charge of filing their reports, not making them. Come on, get to work. Sorry, I still have to archive these reports. They brought back photo souvenirs of the carnage. Oh, they deserve to die too. Organized. They threw that all together in less than 24 hours. They'd found both exits. We didn't stand a chance. One of theirs took herself out. Their damn containers. That could even be the one Halsey's in. And Beryl. If they're blowing themselves up, that's good news for us. <laughs> the Trujacks will keep them busy for a while. <laughs> they won't understand a thing. Shit. They even had the layout of the Red Salon. A map of the basement. They knew about everything. They 
Pei wouldn't give up. <laughs> they tracked him for a long time. Without giving up. They're suspicious of everything. Help from Europe. These bastards are everywhere. They've been collecting anything that seems out of the ordinary to them. For a long time. Nobody's allowed in, sorry. Nobody's allowed in, sorry. started. Agent Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I now proceed with the Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Albert, he doesn't look too good. Private Albert, what are you? Put down that weapon. Albert? No shit, that's impossible. Whatever you do, stay calm. It's incredible. She's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Is it this monster? Huh? I'm almost certain of it. She must sense our stress. She's defending herself. I'm gonna burn that bitch. Get a hold of yourself, soldier. Stay here. I'm gonna warn Monsignor. That thing could start again. But he'll know how to control her. Don't breathe a word to anyone until we've got the situation under control. Albert. Shit. One of Halsey's drawings. Spattered with blood. That means she's been here. I need to hurry. Nobody's allowed in, sorry. Follow me. It will take a minute. Yes.
shouldn't be here. Hey, you can't go in there. This room is off limits to everyone but officers. Then why are you allowed to be here? I'm in charge of filing everything about the girl before we ship her out. Huh. Out of curiosity, do you know where they put her? No, I just put things away. I don't read the reports. It's above my pay grade. Come on, get a move on. What happened here? They supervised Operation Burrow from here. It ended in crisis management. But I told you, you don't have clearance to know any more than that. Okay, fine. for her. First, what level could they have gone to? I need to find where they took Halsey first. What level could they have gone to? <sighs> no, I can't be seen in this form here. Wait! Calm down! Richard... You shouldn't be here! Leave, now! My daughter exists. You lied to me. And even worse, you let them bring her here. My daughter... Listen, 
Now is neither the time nor the place. Stop it! Enough! I don't give a shit about where we are, how dangerous it is, or anything else. You stole Halsey from me! You made me forget everything! Why did you do it? I did it to protect both of you, of course! You caused too much of a stir within the court because of your gifts. They're both your strengths and your greatest weakness. No! That's not gonna work anymore, Richard! Ugh, your excuses that only you alone understand. Oh, what danger could have been so great that you felt like you had to separate us, lie to us, and manipulate us like you did? It, it's because of the prince! She called for Halsey's head about three years ago. She said she was a dangerous liability, and she probably wanted to put me in my place. She ordered me to do it, but I couldn't. I had to make everyone believe I'd destroy her, for both your sakes. <sighs> to protect us, of course. Believe it or not, I've always been helping you. What about Halsey? What did you tell her? That, that you had been destroyed. I had no other choice. I had to find a way to keep her safe and stop her from looking for you. When you talk about safety, do you mean hers or yours? All of yours. Well, <laughs> both actually. Do you realize the harm you caused her? Laisha, these feelings you both have, that twisted vestige of your humanity, it's your illness. It's what I've been trying to treat for all these years. I never asked you to do that. I trusted you, and you tricked us. You let those mortals bring her here, and that... It's the Second Inquisition, Leisha. I'm here on the Prince's orders. My assignment concerns everyone. We have to fight them. Halsey can't be our priority. The fate of the Boston Camarilla, and your fate as well, is at stake here. And you're the one who's supposed to save us? I can sense your anger, but don't make a mistake. We'll all regret. Hazel believes I'm our last hope to defeat the SI and protect the masquerade. Your thirst for vengeance would lead to your doom and Halsey's. Is that all? I sense that you're afraid of me. You're right to be afraid. Yes, but I'm even more afraid of the SI. And you should be too. If you're the reason our plan should fail, you'll both pay the price. Just think. I'm going to find my daughter. And we're going to leave. After everything I've done for you. I never want to see you again. Do you understand? Where will you go? I said never, Richard, because I won't hesitate next time. How could I have been so blind? You must know where Halsey is. bitch to whom I'm bound, like the convict to his chain. Submissive and blind. 
just like a mortal. Agent Emmett Olson. It is 07 a.m. on September 6, 2019. I am now proceeding. Wait, Agent Olson. What now? Halbert, he doesn't look too good. September 6, 2019. 048 AM. The subject has surpassed my expectations. Although childlike in appearance and neutralized, she demonstrates incredible telepathic abilities. Monsignor ordered that she be weakened before her transfer to the Vatican. We will leave her in a high-secured container in Lab L-04 in Basement 4, in the hope that my hypothesis is correct, and she will gradually lose her ability to cause harm. Lab L-04, Basement 4. Finally! Hang on, sweetheart. I'm coming. She's a child of Malkav. What have they done to her? Shit. They were going to torture her. I'll make them pay for what they've done to us all. system. They can come here by boat regardless of the tide. Smart. Come on, Amim. You get in there, find a computer to upload that virus to, and get out. You got this! Looks like a badge reader. It doesn't seem to work. Get a hold of yourself.
worried about high tides. I see some marker, but you can barely make it out. Lewis, it's Saul. We're here, but I don't see Iverson. Where the hell is she? I thought she was supposed to get here first. She should be there soon. She'd better. I'm sorry, Saul. An electronic lock with a code. Rafa could help me unlock it. Rafa, are you there? What do you want? There's some kind of lock that's stopping me. A big box with buttons. Looks electronic. Any ideas? <sighs> there should be a ring on it. See it? Push a little piece of metal under it. It's an old system. These things are easy to short circuit. Anything else? That should do it. Thanks. Over. Piece of metal. An electronic lock. With a code. I need to find a piece of metal to unlock it. Looks like it works with a chip. I can't open it. Oh well. There's got to be another way. This is a waste of my time. M.M. I hear you, Saul. They know we're here. We managed to hide, but we're not gonna hold out long. Where are you? Inside, south wing, or west, fuck, I don't know. Where is Iverson? She's on her way. I just radioed her, she's coming. Tell her to move her ass! Waste of my time. Somebody's down there. Easy. It's like a little girl could do something like that. 
It's unbelievable. I have orders not to leave this office. Then stay here. Sir, please, the blank body. Was captured. Stanford is interrogating it now. The situation is under control. Right. Fine, I'll go with you. There's no need. I can manage on my own. You stay here. You... Ugh, as you wish. Go on, split up. I told you I wouldn't be long. Not a word. Thor! Jeez. You've... You're one of them, aren't you? The blank body. What do you want? I need to put something on your computer. I tried accessing your network, but it's not working. Why not? I... I don't know. Don't play that game with me. But it's the truth. If you're of no use to me, then there's no point in keeping you alive. What? No! All right! All right! I can help you! Just don't hurt me! I'm listening. Why are you doing this? It's better you didn't know. <sighs> Listen, it's simple. You need to go all the way down to the server room. That's the only way to spread your... thing. Tell me how to get there. You need to take the intelligence elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor. I've told you everything I know. Can I go now? I need you to answer a few more questions. I'm on a very important errand. It's way above your pay grade. You have to help me. I... I can tell you're right. What do you want to know? The party. I know somebody sold us out. Who was it? I... I don't know. But the informant wasn't working alone. I heard they had an accomplice. What? Got a name for me? No. Nobody knows who it is. They just send us intel. That's all. What do you have on us? Lots of stuff. Profiles, names, sometimes even addresses. Your snitch sure was busy. So then, you know who I am. No. Your face isn't familiar. What am I gonna do with you? You promised you'd let me leave. I'd like to let you live. But you better know how to keep your mouth shut. If you squeal, 
If you warn the others in any way, I'll track you down and kill you. Do I make myself clear? Yes! I won't say a thing. I promise. I'll stay here. I won't budge. All right. Stay away! Please! How pathetic. Jar's being held here. She seems to be giving them some trouble. Juris Doctor, Yale Law School. That reeks of money. I can't do anything with that. Damn it. Waste of my time. The system to stop the fan blades must be in there, but it's locked. Too small for me to read from here. Waste of my time. Billy! Billy! Can 
I'm here. You got Journey with you? She joined us! Where the hell is Iverson? We need to Gotta get up here! Shit! Saul? security key. This isn't just for any door. They burned me with that. I won't touch it. They put that through my heart. This nail shouldn't have hurt me so badly. They don't normally have any effect on us. This poker it branded me like an animal. Science Squad, we just escorted Stanford to basement level three. We're on our way up to help. First get out of here, then Stanford.
This blood is fresh. I can think of a use for that. Schedule the agents' names and ranks. Oh, my God, no. Make just one sound, a single move, and I'll tear out your throat. Please, I don't want to die. Then answer my questions. Who are you? What are you doing here? Sergeant Dern. I, I'm in charge of moving the prisoners. Where is Stanford? I don't know. I swear, he left the prison in a hurry. He might be in his office down in basement three. I don't know. Please have mercy. Who else are you keeping here? There's a list of who's in them in the next room. Which way's out? There's an exit at the bottom of the stairs. But the SAD's guarding it. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll see about that. Now I won't get anything else out of her. What are you gonna do with me? I can't let you live. This is no time to take risks. Certificate number A745C. Certificate number F947X. The sign-in sheet for agents on duty. SAD has to fill out paperwork. A high tech headset. Steel key. 
most likely the key to a locker. It's no red implant, but... It's no red implant, but... A badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. A badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. Certificate number C521H. Look, a transfer form. These things belong to Amani. Dejan won't be seeing his child again. Find a job that's a little calmer. That's not the first time I've heard that. I'm serious. We need it. And I don't want it. Wood. I really care about you. That's all. Oh. I'm sorry. I gotta go. I'll call you soon. I promise. I... <sighs> Hello? Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm on my way to a party now. They're waiting for me. Oh. Cool. With who? You don't know them. I... Okay. Can we talk soon? I've been busy for the last month. Uh, I'll let you know. I understand. Sorry. Bye. It's been a week and I haven't heard from you. I miss hearing the sound of your voice. Liz, I can't take this silence anymore. I just can't. Please. Pictures from the reunification party. It appears someone was interested in the members of the Hartford Gentry. Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. Ah, my things. But I don't see my clothes. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Certificate number M881M. Schedule, the agents' names and ranks.
I need a high security key. Good. Cells are unlocked. All right, it's open. These soldiers are armed. There are too many of them for me alone. of ill omen oh i'm thrilled we'll discuss the past another time after franklin park i've no desire to ever talk to you again i had orders your presence is always a bad sign and if they find you here i i, I don't even want to think about it everything will be fine this time i promise This is gonna mean trouble for me. They'll start again. Leave, I don't wanna to talk to you. Fine, I understand. I'll leave you be. Get out. The door is stuck. Someone, or something, tried to force it open. When we're locked up, our animal side takes over. This has to stop. Meet me there. Suit yourself. need an excuse to turn us into a pile of ash. Security is tight. An ideal cell for a werewolf. What have we here? A lost soul. 
I know what you are, dog. Then be very careful, leech. How did you end up here? By no choice of my own. They must have gone all out. Your kind are particularly tenacious. I was hunting in the Blue Hills. They had been tracking me for some time. I was careless. I wouldn't be so quick to chalk it up to imprudence. They were well prepared. I gutted a few of them, but they knew what they were up against. When I get out of here, they'll become prey. There might be a solution. What do you mean? We could come to an agreement. If I free you, you clear the way out and keep your distance from me. Work together? There are just a handful of guards standing between us and freedom. That shouldn't be too difficult for you. I'd rather take you with me to my grave. You're going to change your mind. That's highly unlikely. The SED. They've tracked down your pack. What? You're lying. Like all of your brethren. The worm twists your words. Mount Greylock. That's where they are. Shit. What do you think will happen next? Shut up! Give me your word. I swear by Gaia that I won't touch a hair on your head. For tonight. I can't promise the same for the other leeches. That's not my problem. Hunters are toying with forces that far surpass them. Caleb! Open up! I'm so hungry! I need blood. First, I'll need some answers. Damn it! Just do what I ask already! What happened? The mortals attacked the Red Salon! You wouldn't just leave me here, would you? Your honor. You dare speak of honor. It's not a question of my honor. You're my sire. Have you forgotten what that means? What about you? Do you remember? Of course! I tried to find a place to stand beside you. You 
didn't make it easy, but I tried. I, I truly did. I did my best. It wasn't enough. I felt so insignificant compared to you. I was nothing but your plaything. <laughs> it's not surprising the prince won't let you take another child. You certainly aren't an argument in favor of it. You, Caleb, are responsible for what I have become. I certainly am at least partly to blame. Come on! Open up! I don't want to stay here and descend into madness. I can feel it clawing at my guts. I don't want to go feral. Try to calm down. This behavior is beneath you. Enough! I don't want to hear it! I've already told you, we are monsters. We may put on clothes and disguise our deathly pallor. As long as we've had our fill of blood, all is well. Oh, the sire is giving his child a lesson. It's been so long. I have a lesson for you as well. You have to keep an eye on things you don't want to lose. What are you talking about? Fang. I saw her after you left. You defied me. She has been embraced, Caleb, but not by you. Feng is mine now. What do you want? Why do you continue to disobey? Have you ever listened to a word I've said? The only thing I ever wanted was to be part of your world. But you chose to abandon me. It was not an easy decision to make. But it's one you've never regretted. You're wrong. This burden is mine to bear for all eternity. I am still your sire. Your errors are also mine. I'm only your child, and it suits you. No. What's done is done. There's no point in punishing you. It's time to start over. I'll see you at the prince's quarters. He's out of control. here. At least they didn't destroy that.
I'm almost there. The elevator should be around here somewhere. This goes too high, even for me. This is a waste of my time. Charles Nussbaum. Yeah, why? I heard why he got fired. Is that spy shit true? Was he really found going through Grim safe? Yeah, that's what they told us. Shit. They're heavily Hold armed. Please. I need silence. I'm gonna have Sorry. to be crafty to take them out. Monitoring all communications. The court was right to outlaw phones. Looks like a departure. A safe. I wonder what kind of stuff they hide from each other. It's too small for me to read from here.
How's it going? Hogan? Oh shit. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, <clears throat> calm down, Sam. It's gonna be alright. You're safe. Focus. <gasps> that was the last one. Samantha Rowan, IT security engineer. She was trying to recover the data. They know I tried to hack them. Trying to recover the data. They know I tried to hack them. hunting us. That kind of bullshit is exactly why Hazel outlawed phones. The perfect bureaucrat's kit. Well, not so perfect, obviously. I wonder what they do to people who walk away with all their secrets. Personality disorders. Maybe a child of Malkov? themselves as heroes.
Looks like SAD has its share of agitators. That's good for us. Looks like SAD has its share of agitators. That's good for us. Come on, hurry up. That was pretty clever. I'll give you that. What? I warned Saul to watch her back, but she trusted you. You bitch. I was following orders. I didn't want- Go fuck yourself! You fucked everything up. I didn't expect to find something like this here. Wake him. 
there's something written on it. Hmm, forever yours, signed by Nina. This notebook is blank. Bodies do that to you? Yes. <laughs> My last job didn't go so well. I heard you complaining before. Oh, it wasn't important. It's just Paula. Hmm. I don't know her. Paula Nielsen. Stanford's protege. What happened? We got woken up, like usual. And I can't get back to sleep. What are you looking for at this time of night? I need to see Stanford. Do you know where he is? No, but I bet Paula does. She always needs to talk to him when she wakes up like that. I saw her go into the reconciliation room. Thank you. I'm gonna stay here a minute. I need to calm down. Decor is soothing. This place is full of surprises. Looks like it could be valuable. Selection of contemporary music. Ugh, how awful. A heavy smoker, or someone who's stressed. Is he afraid to forget something? Annotated pictures. As if to help someone remember. Pills. Needs help sleeping. Take a nap tomorrow. This bracelet looks old. There's an H engraved inside. Zhu Feng. The mortals are right to be inspired by her.
has a name on it. Adam. Can I help you? It's all right. Everything is fine. Really? Let's drop this little game. Excuse me. I saw your picture in Monsignor Stanford's office. And yet you don't seem afraid of me. I spent 10 years bound to one of your kind. You call that a servant? I call it a slave. You're not from Boston. No, I'm from LA but my mistress ran into trouble there, so we had to leave. We've been nomads ever since, never spending too much time in any one place. How did you end up here? I found myself alone for the first time in a long time, with nowhere to go, no reason to live. Then I met a man who spoke like a priest who said he could help me. So I followed him. What exactly is this floor? A safe haven where we care for tormented souls. It's where they brought me after my mistress left. I really lucked out. Helena abandoned me in a city I'd never been to with no warning. Helena? Helena Vidic. That's my mistress. Does the name ring a bell? I've never heard that name before. She talked about leaving. She'd get these strange urges. Yeah, I know all about that. She said I was brilliant, that I deserved my place with her. She promised to embrace me. So why did she leave? Who was she for you? Are you kidding? She was everything. I lived for her. You can't understand what it's like to place your fate in someone else's hands. I... I was so dependent on her. Monsignor Stanford taught me to fight that. Stanford? What does he get out of it? Nothing. He has nothing to gain from it. From me and everyone else here. He's helping us. Really. Helping you to do what? To make up for the pain we've caused. It sounds like you have a new master. It's not like that. What he's doing is important, and not just for me. Tell me where he is. He should be here. I wanted to talk to him. Where then? What do you want with him? You didn't answer me. You're afraid of him, aren't you? You're here to kill him. That's all your kind are good for. You know what I am. You cannot defy me. I might surprise you. I asked you a question. That's all there is to it, am I right? Barking out orders to your servants? You have no respect for us. I had a retainer that I respected. Past tense? I lost her. I'd really like to believe you. The real problem is that there's something inside you that makes you abandon us. You bind us to you, and we become dependent on you. It's like a drug. Don't you have any qualms about leaving us behind? You're not our children. Your survival is your own responsibility, whether we are there or not. That's what I thought. So you're no better than humans. All your promises about eternity are nothing but bullshit. Stanford's trying to save us. I want to get my old life back.
An insipid human life. Is that what you want? My life wasn't insipid. Maybe, but it must have been bitter. Think of everything you've experienced since. Maybe things weren't all that bad. Maybe you're trying to manipulate me too. Stanford warned us. He really cares about us. You, on the other hand, have nothing to offer. You're speaking to an immortal who's existed for more than 300 years. Do you really think I have nothing to offer? Eternity would be too simple of an answer. I can offer you more than you could ever imagine. You remind me of my former mistress. I could never refuse her anything. I wanted to see him about my insomnia. He asked me to wait. It wasn't like him. He seemed preoccupied. He told me, I think he's in the hospital's chapel. You think, or you're sure? He said he was going there. I don't know anything more. Great. You will forget all about this conversation and stay here. I don't feel very well. I'm going to stay here. I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. really must hurry. Stanford isn't in his office. He can't be far. But how will I find him in this labyrinth? Let's see if there's anything that could help me here. under high surveillance. Mm, this appears to be a program to engrave an implant with an ID number. This must be some sort of implant engraving device.
There's no time to lose. This button is well protected. Where did he put that? There's no time to lose. There's nothing I can do. It won't open. The keyhole is small. Rather simple. Stanford has doubts. I'll be able to locate Stanford with this computer, but which one is he? Where did he put that? There's no time to lose. Where did he put that? There's no time to lose. Where did he put that? I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. See what that opens for me. Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. These marks are unusual. Where did he put that? These marks are unusual.
That's very precise. Where do they get their intel? Oh my god, your face! What happened? I crossed paths with Stanford. And you survived? My objective has not changed. Really? What did you expect? You'll do whatever the heavens command. I'm quite certain the future has some surprises in store for us. Surprises? Your initial failure could be a sign. Stanford is a very resourceful man. There's a reason the Vatican chose him to be in charge here. No one is irreplaceable. Not him. The entire Boston operation depends on him. He is unique. You'll see. What if you were destined to meet him, but not to kill him? Stanford is a dead man. I know where to find him, and this time I'll have the upper hand. May the Lord direct your path. This path is yours to walk alone. Mine shall lead me far from this place. Why are you here? I'm just collecting a few things. From Stanford? I'm leaving. I've made my decision, but not before packing what I need to elude them. Go in peace. I hope we shall meet again. Be careful what you wish for. Goodbye, Joseph. Hmm. Stanford is the linchpin of this operation. All the more reason to eliminate him. I was expecting more resistance. Either they're overconfident, or their attention is focused elsewhere. All right, Stanford is in the hospital chapel.
Halsey's on level L4. I need to go that way. It's stuck. I need to cut the power to open it. It's a circuit breaker. It's connected to the door.
Ryan. It's nothing personal. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Servers. But they're inactive. The network servers can't be far. I'm getting closer. Thermal lances? Better not play with that. Yes! At last. Be too careful. This is their server room? I don't see them. Two person activation required? No way. I've got to find a way to do it alone. They use the water from the bay to cool the servers. That's clever. Two-person activation. Time before the second button is activated. Five seconds. That's not much time. Let it work this time. Do you have the torches? Right here, sir. Good. Come through this door. Now! Of course. I have to find the password. I can't fail now.
field's empty. I need a new one. Here. Hell out of here now. Get you out of there, honey. That's of no use to me right now. A magnetic card reader and a keypad that seems to be locked. system.
closer. Or else what? You can't do a thing to me. If you don't want to suffer even more pain, tell me how to stop this. Hurry up! Kill me, please. End my suffering. She's inside my head. I won't get anything out of her. Shit. This machine supplies the gas and water to the containers. Anomaly detected. Incineration protocol cancelled. Okay. Whew. I just want myself a breather. Them ever again. Mom? I 
need to focus. Come on. I need a code. There's got to be a way to find it somewhere. over, Juliet. That... That was my knee. Yes. There are a lot of things that have come back to me. So don't you worry. I'm in control of the situation. What? Hurry! I'm still scared. I can do this. Never again, because I won't make the same mistakes. Nothing can ever keep us apart now. Remember, like two peas in a pod. What happened? What they did to us? It will never happen again. Mom, we're not crazy, sweetie. It's the world around us that's crazy. I want to go far away from here, Mom. Yes. Yes, we'll go far, far away. Together. Let's get some things from the Institute and we'll leave. Okay, Mom. That's what I want to do with you, Mom.
He won't see me coming this time. things to send to his family. Will they also get a medal and a pat on the back? It's in better shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. It hurts like hell, <clears throat> but I showed them. Uh, what the hell am I doing here? already lost many men. Bible. It belongs to Walter Stanford. I can almost smell his presence. I've never seen anything like it. An enormous beast. I don't know how I'm still alive. The list of prescriptions is long. They still hope they can save him. Please, help me. Help me. I know I'm gonna die. They won't say it to my face, but... Chris! Can you hear me? ago. <laughs> Can you call for someone? Chris! The psychos, they attacked us. How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. I've heard of mortals able to turn us away through the strength of their convictions. I'd never have believed it was anything more than legend. You have failed. Not yet. 
You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. We won't disappear without a fight. The war is already won. We've proven we're much more powerful than you. You took us by surprise, but now we've been warned. The battle will be long. Resistant, like cockroaches. Unlike you, we have all of eternity before us. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? to put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. I beg to differ. You are the cornerstone of this operation. If you were to disappear, the Society of St. Leopold would withdraw. We're not the only ones committed to this fight. If you truly trust them, then why take over control here? They needed guidance. You should never have exposed yourself. The Inquisition of Boston will die with you. No one will continue your fight. All of this energy wasted. Why? I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very Earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. What about you? You live in secrecy. You lie to those you feign to protect. No government dares stand up to you. But we're doing nothing more than defending them. For now. But that's how tyrants are born. You're no better than us. I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption, down to the very last. That may be what you believe, but there are others who disagree. What? The head of the SAD thinks he can use us to his advantage. And he's not the only one. Like so many terrorists moved like pawns on a geopolitical chessboard. I will never let that happen. It's above your pay grade, and you know it. I... must try. In the end, 
Only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight when the outcome is already decided? You gave me the location of your hideout. It will soon be purified. Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? I must protect my kind. Abominations of your ill don't give a damn about each other's welfare. Individualism, the survival of the fittest. That's all that matters to you. The Prince of Boston gives the orders. I carry them out. A loyal pawn serving a lost cause. I am sincerely sorry for you. You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now, you will die. Stay back! Deus Deus! Why you Richard, what are you doing here? Hazel sent me. I'll take over from here. She planned for everything. You, you best go back to see her. What do we do about him? I'll take, I'll take care of him. Tell her, Tell her the SI is under is control. Under control. Good work. Good work, Caleb. I wanted to thank you. Everything ended well, thanks to you. It's not over yet. You're right. But I won't forget what you did on Long Island, and I wanted to make sure you knew it. Did you have any trouble getting back to Boston? The hound you unleashed made things a lot easier. I was nothing next to him. I got off easier than you did. I'll recover. <laughs> As always. Now that we're both safely free of that mess, I have a question for you. It's about Fang. Oh, you're interested in my opinion now? 
Or are you afraid of how the prince will react? You said it yourself. There's no point in repeating past mistakes. I can't make any promises, but I'll put in a word for you. Thank you. With your help, my head should stay planted on my shoulders a little while longer. That all depends on you. I know. I embraced Feng for the wrong reasons. But we also need to discuss her future. You brought her here, so the choice is yours to make. What are we going to do with her? You embraced her. She's no longer my responsibility. Make sure that she serves the interests of the Camarilla as best she can. I will. I didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, not at all. You've come at just the right time. We'll be done in just a moment. You made it back in one piece, Caleb. We carry success in our blood. He's the reason we're all still standing here tonight. I'm not sure. I would have liked to tear Stanford apart myself. He was fighting for his kind, just as I was. He deserves more respect than that. He's dead now. Now we can focus on the future. What do you have in mind? We need to recover from this attack and make sure it won't happen again. We'll have our hands full. Ah, who knows? Maybe we'll have ourselves a good old witch hunt or a turf war. For someone who knows how to manipulate their pawns, it's the perfect way to increase their influence. It sounds like you've got it all planned out. Oh, nothing set in stone yet, but I see new opportunities that are going to take shape, and I'm not going to sit idly by and watch them slip away. You're the one who taught me that. Have you forgotten? That was long ago. Many things have changed since then. So, you're still part of this world? That's not for you to decide. You still have a part to play, my dear sire. It's up to you to choose whether you'll be sitting in the front row or standing in the back. What are you planning to do now? I can't leave the court. It is my duty to stay and help the prince. You haven't changed. We'll see about that. Ma'am, thank God you're here. When I found out that Hazel had sent you out there, I really thought that... Oh, are you alright? You're not hurt? I'm a little shaken up. That's all. I'm having a hard time wrapping my mind around what I just did. You survived a suicide mission. That's what you just did. It's a miracle you made it out without a scratch. Listen, I know it's not a good time, but we need to talk. Come back to my rooms with me. What for? Not here, ma'am. I'll tell you more once we're there. It's... important. And personal. Are you coming? Alright, but it has to be quick. Hazel's expecting me. It won't take long. Come with me. Do you want me to 
ask Sylvia to send up a vessel? You must be starving. It's fine. I don't have a lot of time. What did you want to talk about? I know that Hazel offered you a seat on the council. I was sure you'd disapprove of it. Mem, she's offered you my seat. She never said anything about replacing you. She's not blind. She's seen you growing more influential. Not as much as me, but nearly. By bringing you into the Primogen, she hopes that the student will surpass the master, and that I'll end up losing all credibility. Then, why does Hazel want to get rid of you? Who knows? The powers made her paranoid. She's afraid of her own shadow. She must think I'm a threat. It'll happen to you, too, if you accept the seat. Are you going to accept? I don't know. It's a flying leap into the unknown. I know what I'm losing, but I don't know what I'm gaining in return. You're right, but maybe I can help. I have a say in this. <sighs> Listen, I know we don't see eye to eye on everything, but I'm trying to help you. You lose everything if you accept her offer. Your freedom, your music, everything. You've seen the sacrifices that Hazel will ask you to make. The Anarchs. Yes. It's a heavy burden to bear. Leave it to me. I'm going to take what's mine. I deserve that seat. It's not a game, M.M. You don't understand what the consequences are. Oh, I understand them better than you imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me, Hazel's expecting me. You made your choice. Disasters bring out the best and the worst in us. They can plunge us into oblivion or signal the start of a golden age. Tonight will go down in history as the night we were able to prove we're not done yet. We demonstrated that our ability to adapt and change are the keys to our domination. The mortals were unable to break us thanks to our resilience. We never doubted our superiority over those weak creatures for a moment. Many sacrifices were necessary. Our domain was violated and our existence threatened. But this is nothing compared to everything we have lost. Our family has been battered. The blood of our servants flowed like water. Our own kind were decimated in the flames. We will never forget them. We had to establish new agreements. Forge new alliances. Because this is how we strengthen our kind. Now that our reunification has been confirmed, we can count on strong allies who will help us secure our blood supply. Never again shall we be weak or disunited. That's what the mortals expect from us. Let us show them why we are the predators and they are the prey. Let us show them who their blood belongs to. Let us show them the power of immortality. The sacrifices are not over yet. Some will be lost. Others will lose what they have. But it will not be in vain. We are hunters, and what is taken from a hunter must be repaid a hundredfold. We must put an end to mistrust because it engenders betrayal. Are we not better than the kind? Our eternal nature is our greatest strength. Boston has shown that it is stronger 
than old London and venerable Vienna. Tonight, we have tasted vengeance. Tonight, a sea of blood will flow.